charge him. Yes, Ian. What what is up? Uh, BigDildos.net. That's what's up. <coughs> Buy ten dildos, get one free. Only one more to go, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <coughs> so now we're now we're gonna start owing YouTube money now. <laughs> yeah. We went well, you know. the reverse of them owing us money right uh it's okay once once the internet gets shut down anyway what's it matter right yep we're uh we're gonna be doing the show from my cb radio you don't got no cb radio well i'm gonna have to get one Ain't gonna have no. the rubber duck. We got us a convoy. Yep. Old teddy bear. Yes. So what's going on, man? Oh, you know, just fucking work, 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 work. I came in. I had. I. I. Didn't have everything done yesterday. I came in early today. Stayed late tonight. Barely got out. So, I barely made it out alive, son. But, uh, hmm. I'm here. I'm here to party. You're here to fight the good fight? No, I ain't fighting for shit. I just... What, uh... Uh, what are we drinking on there tonight, good sir? Okay, play, play the sewer talk. Play the drop. Yeah. Oh. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Um, sewer talk to start off this day. What you sipping on there, Ian? Oh, uh, the... the uh, the... Oh, shit. That, it does it like two times. Um, uh -oh. yeah, so the pickings were pretty slim today at Mark's, uh, I usually, for the show, I like to pick some kind of interesting taste, you know, like some kind of bottle or can or something I don't have around the house, you know, uh, since the Mark's is right by me here, it's just like a minute walk, so I like to have go down and get your money it. and save at Mark's. Right. But this is just the holiday brew. Uh, it tastes okay the first time and the second time is kind of wearing on me, you know? Right. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm the type of guy I like to give, like, a lot of new drinks to try, you know, like, if it's the latest and greatest, I guess. Latest and greatest? Yeah. So, I've decided to try... Uh, all the game fuels because you know I give everything a shot. I might find the next best thing, but not not today. No, uh, I have uh, I tried the blue game fuel. No, it's like voltage with salt added to it. The yellow one tastes like rubber. So I guess uh, and I don't like the uh, what was what was it? Mango heat. I think that's what it was. <clears throat> it wasn't that I, good, so. What's the one that you said tasted like rubber? The yellow one. Oh, that is the mango heat, isn't it? No. The or my mango heat was orange. The yellow one was that one that you just got that you're like, I kind of like it. And I'm like, ugh. Oh, well, I mean, the yellow, the yellow game feel that I had, I, I, I like that kind. Yeah. 
Uh, I think it tastes kind of similar to the uh, pineapple Fanta. But You're delusional. You just, no. You said I'm delusional. Okay, okay, but that's... When's the last you, time you uh, had... When's the last time you had it, Ian? I don't know, like a couple of weeks ago. Long, long time ago. Well, so you're defending it. You you like the mango or the pineapple Fanta? Yeah, it tastes better than whatever they. No, that's that shit is gross. I have to check to see if they have any more at Marks. But yeah, I like that one too. It's better than uh, that other nasty shit. <laughs> so, hey, mm. I I know you're a, a aficionado of the. The great pop, so you should stick to that, man. I I told you I liked Welch's when I was a kid, and that's the only thing grape about that is it's purple. <laughs> well, that's what Ben told me. You're like big grape guy. So when I was guy. a kid, I had Welch's all the time. That's all that was. Uh, he did, he makes shit up. <laughs> <laughs> he uh, he's an expert. He knows all about it. No, I just, I had I, I liked it when I was a kid. That was the color I got. I liked the purple one. Well, of the Mountain Dews that were like a grape or a berry, what did you like any of them? The Puppy Monkey Baby, the Pitch Black, or no, the no. Black Label? Black Label I can drink. Pu- uh, puppy Monkey Baby, it's got this nasty aftertaste, and Pitch Black is just like cough syrup. Right? Right. It's well, like you're tasting some... the baby. Yeah. There's Puppy it's... and Monkey you taste, and then the baby. Puppy monkey baby. No, it tastes like uh It tastes like um cu- uh pitch black tastes like uh you know a kid just said I'm gonna put all the shit in it and it, it just it's all no, it's nasty. So yeah, it's gross. Purple oh. more purple, no flavor. <laughs> Tastes like purple. Fl- well, it tastes like purple, and that's it. That's all there is to it. There, that's that's nasty. <laughs> well, uh, I haven't tried all of the kickstarts, but I mean, I don't know. They got like a weird taste to them. I don't know if it's how they like. They're because they're not really Mountain Dew, right? They're just like they're supposed to be a little bit better for you. If yeah, so drinking the them in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's the problem. They're supposed to be like more of like a juice kind of thing, but every time they try to make it better, not really juice at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. As good as Mountain Dew can get. Well, remember yeah. when Taco Bell? They're like, "Oh, we're gonna have this orange juice. It's like a mimosa." And it, it wasn't. It was just as nasty. <laughs> the the first that was the first Kickstarts, right? They're just orange. Right. I've also been drinking this some lemon tea just to. Help with my cold here a little bit. Oh yeah, yeah. Lifting. I'm not a big hot tea guy. I, I can't do hot drinks at all. I drink. Oh, you don't you, drink coffee or hot chocolate <clears throat> or nothing. No, in the winter time, crossing the street going to work, I stand there. I'm holding a frozen drink because uh, I can't do hot drinks. Even it's two degrees out. With fucking wind chill. Can't do it. Can't do it, dog. <laughs> yes. And I don't do hot drinks. Can't. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Nope. Never never liked them. Don't care for that shit. Don't care about that shit. That's right. But so are you not, uh, what else is going, what other kind of extracurricular activities have you been doing? Have you been doing any? No, uh, no, <laughs> no. I I would have stayed later. Like someone got upset that I didn't stay later at work yesterday, and I'm like, I like to exist at my house for a little bit before I go to bed. Is that okay? <laughs> I like to not just come in my house, collapse on the doormat, wake back up in the morning, and then go back to work. Yeah, just okay, do it all over again, man. I want to. I want to. You know, be in my house and. Talk to my, uh, what's, what is she? My wife. Yes. Yes, I, I can talk to her. She she says words every now and then. 
and I would like to hear them. So, uh, I like words and stuff too. Yeah. Not big words. Those scare me. <laughs> but, uh, anti disestablishmentarianism. You're pronouncing that wrong. I am? Yes. Well, you put, put like an N in the middle of it. Oh. Uh, well, I've Arkansas. probably done a lot better of, uh, of a shot at that than you probably will, Mr. Big Words. Anti disestablishmentarianism. That sounds wrong, though. Okay. Super Califragilistic so cool... XP on the Well, you got that right. That was that was pretty spot on. Can you spell that, though? Okay. Either of those. I can spell that. T-H-A-T. <laughs> that app. That ass. <laughs> no, I was... I'm definitely not, like... A spelling bee type of person, you know? No? Like, some I'm okay at, but, like, I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's just not, I just don't worry about it too much, you know? No? That's why we got autocorrect. Until your phone learns the words <laughs> that you've been spelling wrong this whole time. No, every time I try to type in you to somebody just abbreviating you with the letter U, like it always tries to correct it to an I. And that's even with autocorrect off for some reason. You don't say. Well, like you don't know what you're talking about, Ian. You is not a word. But uh that is so <laughs> oh boy well, what I, I really do want to I would really like to see you get into some streams though if, if at all possible well I would if I could stay awake I get done with this show I'm like okay I'm I drink two energy I drink a Mountain Dew and like a big ass tall surge like a tall boy size yeah and I go, okay, and I go to fucking bed. I... <clears throat> yeah. Can't do it. Can't. And then I sleep. I'll sleep for 12 hours. So I haven't even played... I've got video games I bought. I haven't played them. Did you beat that Wolfenstein yet? No, I haven't played it since uh, I told you the last time I, I played. Ah, uh, that's right. So what, what level did you... Uh... Where are you at now, then? Uh, well, let me get on my Steam, and I'll tell you. Hold on, Sonny, I'll tell you. Slap it right in your penis. Uh, go to my stats here. That's stats. Well, where the hell is it? Well, there it is. Details. Are you gonna pay for your Steam bundle, Frank? What? You didn't pay for your S S Steam uh, internet bundle? <laughs> oh no! <clears throat> yeah, I've only played about two hours of it. <laughs> I've unlocked two out of uh, the seventy achievements, so. The DLC just came out. By oh, the wow. way, so what's what's the DLC called? I don't know what it's called. I know the like I I try not to read any spoilers because I watched like a ten minute let's play, and I was like, no, like the trailer let's play because that's how like when I did the trailer it was literally some guy playing <clears throat> it, and I was like, no, I don't want it ruined for me. I'm just gonna go in blind, and the. Uh, I was scrolling and, and somewhere it said the DLC is out, and you play a as a, you play soccer a, as a quarterback against a bunch of Nazis, and I'm like, okay, I mean I guess you're an American quarterback, and they're like, no fuck your football, we play actual football because you know everywhere else but America they give a shit about soccer. Hmm. 
so. But, uh, anyway. Yeah, I'll have to play that I haven't yet. <clears throat> well, I know you're, uh, the, the Wolfenstein would get a lot of views, though, I'm sure. Because that's pretty Maybe. popular right now, so. Yeah, I just, I haven't, I haven't even got out of bed. Just... <laughs> um, but, uh. Yeah, I uh, I was actually uh recently this the past couple of days I was I've been working on my trying to you know get all the stuff on my Ryzen computer set up. Mm. Uh which by the way if uh if you guys haven't uh I know you've seen it. I've showed it on the show before, but like if anybody hasn't seen any episodes on the show yet, I could uh show here's the Here's my Ryzen computer down here. Booyah! Yeah. Well, it's a nice trash can. There you go. It's like, I gotta go to your... You're right, no. <laughs> but yeah. Is that, yeah the, I gotta f <clears throat> is that your 480? Isn't that what you bought? Yeah. yeah. It's the 480, the RAM is glowing, and then the motherboard stuff is all glowing. Um... Like, I guess I'm, I still got to work on the LED strips for that, so it glows like the LEDs here. You know, the LED, I got some LED strips cut that I got to uh, solder s wires together and stuff for that and connectors. Uh, so, oh, you're drinking Barks, too, it looks like. Yeah. Oh, Barks yeah. has bite. Right. But, so I'm working on that. Uh, I'm... I'm getting, uh, I had a fun adventure today tr just trying to, uh, I, I had the, the, you know about the deadline coming up for the 31st where you can get, uh, pretty much a Windows 10 upgrade for free, right? Yeah, if, as long as you have, uh, problems. <laughs> yeah, but I, I mean, I do, I use some of those kind of things like on my phone or whatever, but. Like it nowhere in that process that it actually asks you. Hmm. Yeah. So you don't have to prove that or nothing. So uh, what I I was uh, I was using uh, a temporary method of having Windows 10 on there. Mm -hmm. I'll just say that. <laughs> um, well, Microsoft Frank, gives you the uh, you can have an unactivated version of Windows 10 on a device. Yeah. It, it's just. Your functionality is so limited that you can't change your wallpaper. Right. Your themes. I, well, you can change your wallpaper, but not your theme or something. Oh, it's stupid. Yeah. But so, like, I took the Windows uh, 7 installation that I have from this computer, which I'm using uh, an alternative method for this m computer that I'm on right now. Uh, but I... I at least wanted the the main license that I had because I paid like three hundred dollars for the pro version of seven uh, a few years ago. So I took that. I was I was researching, making sure that I could do it because some people are saying, "Oh yeah, you can't install Windows Seven on the Ryzen system." But I've heard some people like Nate was able to get Windows Seven on his, and he has mm -hmm. the fifteen hundred X, I think. Um, so I I installed it. Uh, yeah, I passed through some some hiccups with that, but I installed the Windows 7, and then I was able to do the upgrade to Windows 10 uh, oh. through that because I had to I had to do it that way first, uh, and then I use this program that copies down to where it tells you what your pro product key is because uh, mm. then once you do the upgrade, then you get like an automatically generated one through that upgrade process so i i looked at this program because i'm like where, where the heck is my product key then in, installed on my either my hard drive or my motherboard or whatever so but i use this program i have to i have to uh check to see uh what it was called but it 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 tells you what that is and like it, it'll tell you like your product key of your other major things like office and everything like that mm. um but so I copied that down. So like, if I need to reinstall Windows 10 again, I should be able to go to the 
straight to the Windows 10 Pro, do like, uh, you know, like use a Windows 10 Pro ISO and just use that product key. Mm. Then, how you like Windows 10? There's still a lot that I got to figure out. I got a lot of programs to install. I got to do look up a lot of tutorials on uh, how to get all those uh, unwanted features out of Windows 10. I, you know, I was doing that, and then like. I tried to install a, a. I tried to reinstall Cortana, and I couldn't remember how I uninstalled it. And then my, uh, my had to switch my uh, motherboard. I had to get a new key because it was tied to that motherboard. So, I just said, "Fuck it, I'm gonna leave all this shit. I don't care." Because Google's already got all my information. Might as well let Microsoft have it. Right. And uh, plus, I got I got nothing to be a, a feared of. Right. What are they gonna do? But I, also, I put a uh, I put a custom. Uh, let me take the camera off again. <laughs> oh, I'm dizzy. Oh shit! I put a custom dark theme on there. Oh. Also. Yes, they uh, originally they had a one that was disabled. You had to go in and change, and now you can actually just turn it on. Yeah. They're like, "Wait, people want that?" Okay. Yeah. So, uh, <clears throat> you know, I had to use like a, some kind of uh, UX theme uh, patcher or whatever that patches like a couple system files, so you can install third party, you know, like themes on there. And uh, I was trying to do a different one earlier, and I ran into a big snafu with that where I, after I downloaded it and double clicked on the thing, it it made it, uh, it made just the screen black every time I, like, I couldn't do anything. Like, if I, I restarted the computer and then I logged on and then it was just black again. Hmm. It was black with a cursor over it the whole time. Oh, shit. Uh, so... I tried going into safety mode, uh, same thing, and so I was like, shit, I don't want to reinstall this again, this took me a couple hours setting some of this shit up, so I spent about probably like half an hour, at least I saved some time, uh, I had to go through, uh, do a command prompt, had to delete some files, and then copy over like the default arrow theme over to the like the same folder that it was called so it's tricking it into thinking that it's loading the the bad theme with the default arrow theme or whatever mm. so hmm. yeah so that's pretty much like if you install a bad theme and it does something like that you have to go into you can on your logon screen if you're able to get to that you sh can like sh click on the you know the power icon in the lower right hand corner and uh, hold down shift and restart and then it'll give you like the recovery and reboot options and stuff to restart into safe mode or you know like a there was an option to just do command prompt window so you can just type in whatever commands you need because huh. i mean it's it, it's nice I, I wish they make some kind of utility where they give you some kind of like file explorer or something instead of having to type this shit out so you can move and delete or whatever files or folders that you want you know uh -huh. before you even get in the windows hmm. I, I was thinking about looking up some kind of a boot utility because uh i made a i i finished my uh boot uh usb thing like i have i have xp on there seven eight and ten you know like in case if i like need to do some things with older computers you know like uh I don't know, but uh, I have some, you know, like Hiren's Boost CD on there and uh, some other Ultra or Ultimate Boost CDs on there that has a bunch of utilities, so I got to check to see if there's other stuff like that I was talking about Oh, that I was curious about. Um, right. But, I mean, are, are you good with that type of stuff, though? Like, trying to look at, uh, you know, like, trying to figure out shit with the computer, like, that's, like, if shit's just not even working or doing anything on your computer <clears throat> well i mean how long did i fuck around with uh formatting my uh hard drives 
like you know when the one crashed because I de I deleted a partition I think is what it was and it was a system partition I didn't realize it. Oh <coughs> uh, really? Yeah, I had um. Well, I had a Linux and I got rid of the launcher because I got tired of it would default to Linux, and I'm like, you know, you had to select Windows to start in Windows. I'm like, well, I don't want to do that. I want to start in Windows and. If I want, go to Linux. Well, it's like, no, you can't do that. And I couldn't figure out how to uninstall the uh, launcher, so I just found the partition was on and deleted it. And they're like, this is a system partition. You can't do that. And I go, what do you mean I can't? And I found a program that let me do it, and it wouldn't boot. And I was like, oh, fuck. Oh, shit, man. Shit, 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 shit. And um, I don't remember how I ended up getting it to work. I... Uh, I think I had to. I ended up. I think I did the uh, just the the USB key that I install Windows on. I think. I think that ended up uh, letting it scan and then solve whatever problem. It wasn't reading something on the, on the disk. Hmm. It was so long ago. I spent like literally two days searching the same, like message boards. People put the same shit over and over. And they're like, no, use this, use this. And I'm like, uh. Yeah, well, I was I was sort of getting confused on that, too, at the beginning. I uh, Because I had to delete the Windows 10 that was on there before with whatever I was using with that. Mm. Um, so I wanted to do a fresh install with it on the SSD. Yeah, it's and a pain in the ass. When, yeah. like, uh, when you can't even boot. Well, I was I was scared of what I wasn't sure what to do. Like I, I forgot that you had ran into that problem. I probably should have made sh sure about that at first. But I it had like four different partitions. One was like the large, the main large system one. There was a couple other system ones on there. Then there was like an MSR partition and a reserve partition. I think and, it installed like a part of the. It made a partition on my storage drive, which I'm like. Hmm. And then someone were like, yeah, I keep all my disks unplugged until I finish installing it onto one disk. And I'm like, oh, well, I didn't do that shit because I didn't fucking know. I just plugged everything in and turned it on. And I didn't think it would touch what I wasn't installing it on, but apparently it did. Because I was like, I don't need that. And I took it off. I don't, I don't know. I deleted partitions because I had uh, my storage drive was like four terabyte or something. And... By default, Windows only recognizes. What was it? You have to like go into it and configure it to make it make it accept more. Hmm. Uh, let me Google that shit now that I think about it. Well, I just bet the farm on it, and I just deleted all four four partitions and made it so that the only partition just said un unallocated space, which is I knew I did that for like. Windows 7 and all the other operating systems before that. That's usually you just oh. do that so then you just end up with a fresh drive then. Okay. Yeah, this guy says uh, you had a 4 terabyte drive in Windows 7. Oh, because you got to go into the GUA partition table and delete shit. and re I can't remember how you have to do it. It's stupid. It's so, like, if I want to, because I was thinking about getting an 8 terabyte soon, like, is that, you going to do something special with that then? Well, um, probably. I, I, I always forget until I have to, you have to, uh, you have to, let's see, convert it, it, it from MBR, Master Boot, to GUI partition table. You can do it all, uh, apparently in disk management. I think I can't fucking remember. I'm I'm cuz you can't when you format it it's like oh you can't format it cuz it's the wrong kind of it's the wrong type of uh drive. And you're like, "Well, can I change it uh -huh. to the other type?" Yeah, you could do that. Why don't you just <laughs> Then I should just be able to do it on all of them. It it master boot record is the old school BIOS. It defaults to this is uh your master boot. It will boot off of this. And no one has BIOS now. We have, uh, well, modern systems have UFI uh, BIOS. And uh, since that's a dis different system altogether, 
uh, you really, I, 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 I might be talking on my butt. I think the do the modern systems use GUI partition or is it the old systems? Now I might be lying to our listeners. You go ahead, talk amongst yourselves here. <laughs> oh, wait, you're just you, right? Uh, GUI partition table or master boot record. Uh, well, Windows. I think the I think it's the GPD. Yeah, Google Partition Table is what, what that stands for. I'm just trying to see. Well, yeah, I think that's well, that's what I installed in Windows 10 on this new computer. I think that's what that is. Uh, when installing Windows on UEFI-based PCs using Windows, uh, the hard drive style must be set to support U- UEFI or legacy BIOS compatibility mode. Yeah, legacy. The Legacy means old. BIOS. Remember when everything was BIOS? Yeah. My old Dell, I remember the first time I had to get in the BIOS, it's like, what am I doing? And now it's What's like, that? it looks like a a toy when you log in now with UFI. It's like, look at this shiny shit. And I'm like, oh my God, it's not just green. <laughs> right. Well, the, the thing I don't like about the new UFI BIOS, where it seems like they're kind of going backwards, is they only natively really support FAT32 to boot, like, any kind of installs or any kind of tools from as far as, you know, like, if you need to install, like, a fresh thing of Windows, because I wanted to put a a shitload of installs and stuff on this. I have a 128-gig thumb drive, and, uh, but that's, you know, with, with, if you want it to be FAT32, the drive has to be, uh, on, like, under 32 gigs so it's 32 or under i guess that's the largest that that file system can support so uh either you can only support it as ex fat or ntfs which comes by default uh now like older computers i guess do support the ntfs you can boot from so like you 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 have a you have a big drive full of linux isos (laughs) That's what guys on uh, data hoarders say. What what do you have on all these hard drives? Linux ISOs. Yeah. I'm not well, going to expand upon that. You don't need to fucking know. Well, I have a bunch of uh, Windows servers, like Windows 2008, 2012, and 2016 uh, server ISOs on there, too, I was going to mess around with. Um, so, like, hmm. I, I was looking at... They said you can... Uh, do you can partition it into smaller partitions so it's you could have like smaller fat 32 partitions on there mm-hmm. but i guess it's a pain in the butt because uh it's a removable drive and uh partitioning it's a little bit more tricky doing it on you know those thumb drives than it is a regular hard drive i guess oh but anyways this is like really hardcore <laughs> nerd here white and nerdy yeah uh-huh yeah, we're barely interested in this and we're the ones talking about it so right uh but, but did i ask pretty you much to... good pretty much uh, i'm working on that i'm trying to install my programs and settings the way that i, I want it to get it to similar to be similar to the computer i'm on now so um oh good idea. yeah uh i'm i'm waiting to get like I said, I'm waiting to get that drawing uh, monitor that Huey on so I can get all the yeah. monitor arms and everything for it and then move my uh, computers together because uh, you could see uh, that I have my computer over here and then this main computer is just underneath you guys now. Uh, so I got to uh, figure out how to, you know, like, rewire everything so because i want to put the, both the computers together in the same space so all the cords you know it's like easier to put all the cords going from all the monitor different monitors and everything to the two computers you know mm-hmm. and gotcha. it'll be cable managed easier so because i i want to put this ultra wide on my newer computer that would make more sense you know <laughs> if it's faster and better sure yeah gotcha but I'd like to get a second ultra wide. I mean, that'd be nice. That you I you got one. one, but it was a sm- that's a, it's a smaller one though. You said. Yeah, I, 
You know, I was looking at all the battle stations you'll see that have, like, multiple monitors. They'll have the big one on the bottom and a little dinky fucker on top. <laughs> and I'm like, no. I put the big one up here so I can game on it. And then I can glance down and I see a chat. And, uh, you yeah. know. Yeah. But, uh, that's just, that's just how I do it. That's how I roll, dog. What? Well, I, I was gonna ask you, Dad. Thanks for uh, reminding me, like, what, uh, when it comes to computer monitors, you know how, like, 4K TVs are all the rage and the OLEDs and stuff? Uh-huh. Are really popular? Uh-huh. Uh, how come they don't have, like, OLED computer monitors, or is that what IPS monitors are? <clears throat> no. <laughs> um. I didn't think so. No, IP, IPS and uh, uh, TN panels... Um, that's uh, they're both they're both abbreviated for what the technology actually is. Just like OLED, uh, what does the O stand for in OLED? I forget. Uh, or organic LED, I believe. OLED versus um, uh, not not TN. Um, what did you say it was? IPS. IPS panel. IPS panels generally have good viewing angles, stability, and the colors usually remain stable when viewing the display from the side. I mean, the TV you're not meant to move around and look at. Uh, an actual monitor, like my monitor here on the side, I've got flipped to the side kind of because it's so fucking big. To view it flat, I would have to go like that. So you, you know... But if I wanted to do it flat, that's where IPS would work. Uh, oh, what is well? What's the difference between OLED and LED? That's not what I want. But which is better, AMOLED or IPS? I don't know. Well, I just haven't seen any myself. Have you? Like, in, I mean, you could get a small TV, like yeah. a thirty-two inch TV. I guess that's an OLED. But well, the thing is with the monitors. For some reason, a computer monitor, they jack the price up for everything. If you want a 4K computer monitor, it's going to be stupid expensive and small. Like, if you get a big one, it'll call, even if it's not, you know, FreeSync or G-Sync, they bump the price up. A TV, the only thing a TV will have different is a tuner, and it'll have all this extra shit that you can disable... Yeah. As long as you pay attention to the what hurts and everything, then you're fine. My, my uh, software that I use to run my different monitors, uh, just to keep the wallpaper smashed, it actually has an option for um, setting up w at what hurts my monitors are. So I guess theoretically I can overclock my monitor. I don't know how much I trust it. But it's like, hey, you can bump this one up to 60 hertz. I go, okay, sure. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> yeah. I don't know where also, that was, but go ahead. Also, I think uh, Barnacles was saying like you gotta pay attention to the like the like the four like the four numbers for the color space or whatever. Yeah, a TV. Any TV, you're going to have to calibrate it. My monitors, I have to color calibrate because just the nature of the panels, they're not going to come out from the factory looking the exact same. You could get three of the nah. same exact monitor, and just w for whatever reason, they're just, there's going to be variances. Uh, I've they even played around a couple hundred dollar things where you like. It's like those spider, I think they call them the spider <clears throat> calibration yeah, yeah, things where yeah. you put them, stick them on the monitor. Yeah, Linus had a couple of those, and you can spend all that money and time, or you could just click around till it looks good. <laughs> all, that's another thing if you're getting the Huion, the, a lot of people would like the, not, I don't know if it's the Huion specifically or just the drawing monitor. So, like, the color isn't the exact same as it is on my other monitors, which. If you play with it and adjust it, you can get it to your preference. Uh, 
but it's less than a Cintiq. I think you'll live. <laughs> you know, it's a uh, my my little twenty seven inch monitor, little twenty seven inch. That was my only monitor when I built this thing. At the time, I thought it was the shit, and then I put this LG and this LG next to it. And I go, boy, you can see the difference between this three four hundred dollar monitor versus a hundred and forty five dollar monitor if they're side by side. Um, right. it, it's well, as long as the as long as it will like, it'll still do sixty hertz. So it's not bad. It's only got like a so many millisecond response time. It's I I I have gamed on it. It's just you know, for uh shit on the side, you know you get by. If uh ultra wide, I mean my opinion is if you got one big monitor that you can put your focus on, as long as it's good. Anything else on the sides, it's window dressing. Because you're not, yeah. I'm not fixated. Even though this is a nice ultra wide, this could be my only monitor down here, the second one I have. Uh, but, you know, it's, I, I, it's just uh, something extra I can throw shit on. And I wanted it because I wanted something similar to the shape of the top monitor. I didn't want a big box that's half the size. And you can tell that it's not just not right. It bothered me. So, but, but uh, well, you anyway. know, yeah, you were you were saying like uh, that's what I was trying to tell Ben though. Like, definitely the Huey on I think is a good choice for me, especially because, I mean, it, it draws uh, really good, you know, like for for that price and stuff. But I don't even need it to be like re- really high precision as far as like drawing lines go. I'm going to be using it for sculpting and like CAD design and stuff like that, where I'm pushing and pulling vertices and faces and doing like work with textures and stuff yet where I don't need that kind of, even that fine of control with it, you know? Mm -hmm. Right on dog. Yeah. I, uh, I just don't know where the hell I'm going to put mine. (laughs) I got, think about it. I got a 34 inch and then two 27s. Where, where do you put a... Even if I get, like, a... I don't want to get, like, a 13 or a 10. That'd be stupid. Well, how many are you doing portrait, and how many are you going to do regular? Oh, two, regular. two 27s portrait. Oh, okay. Oh. I, got, I got one now. I like it. But... <sighs> I want to get a, a, a one... Of, I, I I'm 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 I think I I think I might be backing off my original statement. You asked me last week, are you gonna do uh five eighty or Vega? And I'm like, eh, I'll get a five eighty, it's cheaper, but then I'm like, well But then if the price drops on Vega eventually, I'm gonna feel like an asshole. Cause I just bought the five eighty for an inflated price, I'm sure. Granted, you can get a five eighty now for under three hundred bucks. But the prices, I've been watching them like not every day, but every couple of days I'll check. I almost settled. I was like, okay, this FXX or XFX uh, GTS uh, Core Black Edition. I was like, okay, it's three hundred nineteen dollars. All right, I think I'll get this one. And then the next day, hey, it's three hundred thirty nine dollars now. <laughs> then the next day, three hundred sixty nine fucking dollars, and then. The prices are going up and up. If you go on an, an Amazon, not eBay, fucking Amazon. Granted, it's a MSI version of the of the Vegas sixty five or sixty four, but it it's still the reference blower model. Fifteen hundred yeah. fucking dollars. Uh, sorry. The other day, the liquid cool version of Vega was fifteen hundred fucking dollars, and I thought that was that was twice the price of what it was uh, two weeks before that. So, let, I mean, let, let's, you know, let's shits and giggles here. Let me let me open a window. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Whoops! Don't want to full. There we go. So I could full screen it because because I can. Because that's what you do. You feel me, dog? Yeah. I know but, what you mean. I'm not feeling you. About the 
Uh, but RX, whoop, Vega 64. Yeah, 64. F, 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 15, 1500. <laughs> or if I want the, uh, oh, just, yeah, X, X, X. What the hell's up with this one? Eight, oh, it's used for 900. MSI version, 1500. Let's see. Oh, the liquid cooled. Yeah, 1300. I don't understand. The the miner is supposed to be rank, ranking these up because just, I don't, I, I have no interest in buying one. But a 1080 Ti, okay? You get one for, you know, with 11 gig for 800 bucks. Yeah, I I wouldn't I wouldn't want it. I I don't I wouldn't sw I I I'm sticking with uh, AMD because I don't want to deal with Nvidia at all. I'm, I have FreeSync. I want to use it. No, what you want to get is a Titan V. Yeah, v Volta is that what it is? Yeah. No, then Titan you have to buy a Volva. <laughs> yeah. But the five eighty. Yeah. Then you have to buy, pay like a few hundred dollars more for the same kind of monitor, but with uh, G Sync, you know. Right. See, here's the Black Core Edition. It's four hundred and twenty dollars now. The other day, this four hundred and twenty dollar card was down here with three hundred nineteen. See the GTS Black Edition, which I don't understand. They say with the Overclock Plus, it gets fourteen twenty five megahertz. Whereas this Black Core Edition, well, yeah, fourteen oh five. So why is that four twenty? But the one that's advertised at fourteen twenty five is three. I don't know. I'm sorry, math. I don't. Oh, I mean, the only thing I like, more, man. The only thing I like about this more than the Vega one is that it comes with this legacy. Uh, Display, not display port, um, DVI uh, port. So it has the it has the potential to run a fifth monitor. I don't think you can run all five at once. I I just don't. But if, what was if, that one that you said had like six? Uh, it's one of the it's one of the custom Vegas. I think it's the Gigabyte. You know, the ones that definitely aren't out yet. <laughs> now, Newegg has a couple... They had at least one custom uh, Vega uh, listed, but it's not for sale. It's like, not for sale yet. Yeah, so you get a power color for Red Dragon for 700 But they're out of stock. Well, yeah, they, is the 56 just as bad, though? The 56, I don't know. I haven't been looking at the 56 models because I figured, oh, balls to the wall, man. Yeah, 56. All you can find it. All I can find is the uh, block. If I wanted to do water cold, uh. Well, I'm just curious because I mean, if you're cons if you're even considering the the 580, I mean, isn't the isn't the 56 between the 580 and the 64 somewhere in there? Anyways. <laughs> <clears throat> Well, hold on now. Nine hundred and seventy for new and used offers. Uh, oh, nineteen hundred. So slightly more. Uh, people were buying the five sixty because they were ma they're cheaper, and you can put a BIOS for a sixty four on them, and all that modding shit, which I don't want to waste time doing. Because right. what? What if I brick it? Oh no! Uh, what am I doing? Then your your wife will be throwing a brick at your head. Right now, I'm not saying that they're supporting the miners, but uh, Asus mining expert motherboard cryptocurrency mining with 19 PCIe slots. <laughs> Look at this shit! Look at that! It's crazy. <sighs> Why didn't they say that? The Titan V was supposed to have like those specialty like, because it's supposed to be an AI 
calculation card or whatever. Yeah, for deep and learning. I, I thought, yeah, deep learning or whatever, and I thought that that was pretty much compatible for mining Bitcoin or whatever. Well, it's a three thousand dollar card, even the consumer grade. Yeah. So, are you gonna make your money back? Plus, AMD <clears throat> AMD cards apparently are better for mining, so that's why they that's why they're through the fucking roof. But anyway, we babbled on and on and on and on and on. Well, the J J Amlan is spoke to videos, and I think one of them was saying that you might you might make your money back if it does as good as it's supposed to do. Okay. Did you want to get into some battle stations, sir? Mm, yes. Man your battle stations. Man your battle stations. Station. 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 Brosive. <coughs> Bro, you. Bro, oh, no. Oh no, I sent you the email, but I didn't send me. Oh no. Shit. It's in the chat here. No, no. My stories aren't in the chat. Hold on. Oh, that's okay. I... No, it's <laughs> not, Ian. It's not all about you. <laughs> it's about you kissing my ass. Okay, can you do that for me there, Ian? Be a big boy, go out and stick your thumb up your ass. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Hold on, I gotta open the fucking thing. Where's your oh, there it is. Set up. Well, where <laughs> did uh, I'm gonna say that my theme for uh, this week is gonna be uh, some uh, decent uh, Twitch streamer setups. Is that right? Yep. I'll decide if the shit's decent. <laughs> right. <clears throat> okay, this is decent. I'm wow, sure he, he likes to... Uh, he likes to keep his box. Look at this shit. I spent money on this shit. Yeah. You don't... Well, I see people put, like, the, they'll cut the, you know, the boxes apart, and then they'll just... Plaster all the, like wallpaper on the walls, you know. Yeah, I've seen that, or like they just glue like the box to the fucking wall, which is ghetto. Oh yeah, uh, that's pretty bad. I don't know. Uh, just do like this guy and get a a case with a window, and then they can see the parts in their natural environment. <laughs> like, cause all this shit really just looks like you're like, <sighs> yeah, garbage you haven't thrown away yet. And junk in the trunk. Right. I mean. Like, I, I kept mine for as long as I'm like, in case I need to RMA something. And I haven't. Uh, I mean, I did, but now I, I keep the case for, like, or the box for the case because, you know, it's too big to have if I need to ship somewhere. So, but I, this I guy. I keep the case for a USB cable. <laughs> Give me a plastic bag. Yeah. Uh, um. Wow, this is um pretty d decent here. He's got you know some vertical monitors, which I'm always a fan of. Uh. He's got a, a, a. I'm assuming this is a crossfire rig here in the middle. Because it's Radeon, Radeon. Yeah. Even though the bottom one doesn't appear to be lit. It's got a little headphone it's, thing, probably like a 3M. It's so lit. <sighs> Glad I'm up, it's not a surprise to me. I am my own worst enemy. Can we forget about the things I said when I was drunk? I didn't mean to call you that. Dan, 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 dan. <laughs> lit. <clears throat> now, he's got a cooler looking second case, but. It's like he's so proud of those blue LEDs that he's got in it that the thing's not lit, so you can't see any damn thing. Right. Well, I can tell you one thing is for sure: he's definitely not doing like a green screen setup with that all that lighting. Wah, 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 <laughs> that wah. shit won't key out that well. No. 
Well, see, but his it depends on where his main camera is. Because yes, he's got a webcam on the right, but he's got his microphone set up on the left. Right. So if he's got another camera set up somewhere, he could have his uh, green screen where the where this camera is. Theoretically. Right. And if it's unaffected by this red, who fucking knows? I don't know. It'd be weird as hell looking. Now, if, if you ever start getting into Twitch and streaming and all that, would you... Are you going to put some kind of green screen over that monstrosity, so... Oh, okay. So, so now you're calling my shit a monstrosity. <laughs> no, just that bed back there. No, I'm going to put my underwear in here. <laughs> Skid marks on the drawers and everything. But, uh, yeah, he says, someone says, spend $10,000 only has five Twitch followers. <laughs> <laughs> he said, it says Twitch TV slash AMD, so he's a gaming community manager, which is why all his shit's AMD, it looks like. <clears throat> um, yeah. I mean, <laughs> it could be that we're just, same reason I am, because I was cheap to begin with. I mean, and it's ironic that they go with red because you know uh, it's a furnace. Cause I, I told somebody that I have a, I, I don't mind my FX setup, and they're like, "You're yeah, especially in the winter time, huh?" I go, it's "Not a fucking oven, man." <laughs> but uh, hey, they they're they're built to stand the heat, though. Wah 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 wah. <laughs> Yeah. When everything um, is melted away on your computer, that processor will still be there. I'll be around. Copy. I'll open the second one real quick. It's nice, but I wish he had more pictures than just that one. Yep. Okay, let me see Wait. this. Wait. What's that, uh... What's that mean where you do... Something is something or something. What? Lazy is. Lazy is lazy. Oh. I don't know. Oh. Hold on. I'm going to open his Twitch in another window. So hold on. <laughs> oh, sorry. Unless you've got a time machine, that content is unavailable. <laughs> so so I guess, I guess his channel's gone. <laughs> I mean, this is an archive post. When was this? Uh, oh, a year ago. Oh, damn. Maybe yeah, he like I did. A, I I did a search <clears throat> for Twitch, and then you know I just did whatever is on the list here that looked cool, and there wasn't right. that many Twitch setups. So, I mean, you, any gaming setup. Hell, <laughs> you can you can Twitch with a PS4 if you want. I mean, or yeah. an Xbox. It's just maybe he changed his uh, thing because the links. Link or no worky. Um, but, uh... Do they have, like, a Reddit that, like, only the, like, really popular YouTubers or something is on? Because, like, I, I, I don't know too many, like, popular... You know all the big YouTubers with the crazy setups. What? What do you mean? You know, like, uh, do they have, like, an elite uh, battle stations or something for this, just for, like, YouTubers with, like... A million subscribers or something. <laughs> um. Well, like they make a bunch of videos, like you know, craziest uh, setups, and it shows like PewDiePie and all these other guys. Yeah. But uh, well, it's like I don't even I I don't even know what like Lin Linus's setup is. Oh, he um. <clears throat> well, he has a, a giant uh, yes, flat screen the... TV. In his like little man cave, like you know, where he lays on his back and watches movies with his kids. Yeah, I I remember I saw that. And then he has a rack mounted one in a different room with a thunderbolt cable to a room with a monitor, so it's totally silent. Oh yeah, so. I remember something about that. Well, it's just he he's so big that like they've got things everywhere, so it's like he has. I I know in his office he has that desk. 
computer or whatever. Right. So it's like it's hard to classify which is like really his like he doesn't really have like a skunk works or anything computer like Jade does, I don't think. You know? Well the server uh rack mounted one that he had somebody make for him. Uh that I think is was his actual home gaming computer okay. at one point. But I don't know. <laughs> now this Asus uh ROG Swift fourteen forty 144 hertz G-Sync. Oh, boy, that just... Whatever you were thinking for all this other shit, that G-Sync right there made the price go up. <laughs> let me... Let me do a quick Google search just for those words right there. Oh, new egg. Oh, you got one for 645 bucks, was it? Yeah, 654 okay. It might, they might as well have it be G-String Sync because you're putting <sighs> dollars into it. <sighs> well, like, uh, whenever I see... A guy with a you know monitor like that, people are like, why well, spend all that money for a little monitor? They're like, it has a it's fourteen forty, it's G Sync, and it's got a high refresh rate. It's just it's very expensive, so it's small. You know, I I'll I'll take you know my what couple millisecond re refresh rate for you know bigger <laughs> and free sync. Um, yeah, it's got the N NCXT of uh, H440 it says white slash black. Does he not know which one he has? I don't. Actually, does he not have a picture of it? Oh, this must be must be before they start cracking down on the rules because he doesn't have a picture of the case, does he? Well, what were they cracking down on for the rules? Well, like I'm a stickler. If I see someone post a picture without the case, I I'll be the guy that says. Hey, uh, you gotta have a picture of the case, and then the mods go. This one's been uh, deleted because it's uh, not following the rules. Oh, so yeah, no laptop computers, like we said before. Well, no laptop, and if you have a case, you're supposed to show it because it's a bare minimum. He's got a mouse, a keyboard, you know. And <coughs> granted, here's an Xbox. Nice little keyboard. What kind is that? Is a these Strix. Oh, gaming computers. Oh, he's got a streaming computer. Okay. So he's doing the two computers thing where all of his playing is on one and then the other one is just for, excuse me, for decoding it and all that. The theory is that the CPU and stuff doesn't have to do anything other than play the game and the other one doesn't do anything other than stream it. Yeah. Or you could just build like a Threadripper build that goes, what? Okay, whatever. Um, ca yeah, capture card, all that. Webcam. Oh, he went from a Logitech webcam to a 4K. Brio. The fuck's a Brio? Oh, that ugly thing. Damn. Huh. 160 bucks for a webcam. That's how much this is. This is what? Nate's that I'm using now. Oh, yeah? Yeah, his is $100. No, this is 160 Well, you but see does... if it was an RGB one, though, that you <laughs> pay that much for it. But, but it does... Uh... It does 4K. He's got Audio Technica M50XBs. I, I don't. I haven't heard too many. I know people either love the M50s or they hate them. Huh. Sure, microphone, <coughs> Steinberg uh, audio interface, Rode boom arm, which costs a lot. Ergotron desk stand, which is that. Oh, so it kind of just sits on the desk. That's two fifty. And oh, light bulbs! He's got RGB light bulbs. Twenty bucks. Oh, I didn't know what, about just that. Just like you screw in to like an outlet or something. Yeah, I uh, I got an RGB light bulb in my lamp that's remote operated, but it was like. Mm -hmm. 10 bucks, I think. I, got yeah, I think it's like, I would never pay that absurd amount of money just so you could have it over Wi-Fi. Well, mine's not. It just has an infrared remote. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah, make it green. Well, it does, like, it's the same as regular RGB. It does whatever colors. Oh, look, well, he's just... got little words here. I'm I'm just not so obsessed where I gotta have everything be like a smart home, you know? Right. You want a dumbass home. <laughs> okay, so he's got an LG 34 inch. Okay, well, I can get behind that, dog. Yeah, I feel you. He's got a 27 inch monitor, which is a little bit smaller than my 29, but I I feel him. I feel him. Then he's got two other 27 inches. Okay, now you're just getting greedy. Um, He's got a Cintiq 13. Yeah, I, I, I figure I'd throw this in here. It's a kind of a contrast of other ones that's not too, like, in your face loud, you know? Uh -huh. The colors. What's it got on this boom here? Oh, the Hell PR40. Okay. <laughs> IBM Model MSSK. You motherfucker. Looks like he's got a Nixie clock here with those stormtroopers, and he's got those Apple-looking uh, speakers. Uh, what, I don't know what to call. Along with the Griffin um, volume wheel, <coughs> control pads. Okay, PlayStation controller, baby blue. He's got a GoPro here with the case on it. See, this guy put effort into it because he put titles on everything. Well, he figured people are going to ask. Because people, what's that mouse? What's that keyboard? And he just says, fuck it. What's that monitor? Which one? <laughs> exactly. Um, I mean, it's just like, there's so much. Like, he's got so many little knickknacks and that boom arm on the left. That monitor on the left. Can you even fucking see it? <laughs> I wonder how many USB hubs he probably has there. Uh, oh boy. Well, see, if you have a long enough cable, then you just stick it to the back of one of them fucking monitors and you'd never know. Huh? As long as the shit doesn't have to be powered. <laughs> or, you know, if it does, you can't see his uh, actual... Computer, I think it's that box with the blue light. If I had to guess, it says LG well, on it's, it. It's still might, up here, so might be his desk. They're like that blue light counts for something. <laughs> so, someone said no audio monitors equals instant fail. Says, damn, you forgot to label the thermos and the pile of clothes on the floor. See, see, see the clothes there and the blanket. Oh. Uh, Damn, son. Now, this one's got a little more room spread out, but he's got another computer. So that means he's got a whole desk that we can't see. Because he only has this one. I clicked his link and it, like to the this thing, to his blog or whatever, and it's uh, kind of got a bunch of shit that I don't care about. So... But, uh, I mean, if you're just looking at this, this looks, you know, doable. Yeah. I mean, this does, too. I'd say it's cluttered, but then so is mine. Because as soon as you go, I'm going to get this, and then that, and the next thing you know, you don't have anywhere to put your arms. Uh, the first one. Whoops. I thought I had that. While it you know is coordinated, eh, it's it's not a there's no real room for personality. It's like computer monitor, computer keyboard monitor, leather chair, and that's it. The most the most character he's got is the you know lights and then the boxes. Yeah. Whereas this guy, you know, he's got different lamps. He's got, you know, RGB on the keyboard. He's got, you know, a little some, you know, not a whole lot. 
This guy is just like, I got my figurines. I got my stormtroopers. Oh, that's right. Harmon Carden Sound Sticks. One of the uh, audio guys I watch, uh, he was doing a Twitch stream, and people were like in the chat. They'd ask him questions, and instead of reading his chat, he's just walking around doing stuff. And uh, I read him the says, "Hey, what do you think of the sound sticks?" He's like, "They're fucking dildos. I don't. I've never bothered to listen to them because they look like dildos." He's like, "They could probably sound great, but they look like fucking dildos." What was that sign that you had up at the beginning? Uh, dildos.com. Oh, uh, big dildos or something dot net. I don't even remember. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, do you want me to go first? Oh, look, this is a negative. Someone gave us negative four points. Oh. Yeah, you go ahead. Okay. Um, I don't know, like, the second one. Well, first, I'll, I'll go three, one, and then two. So uh, this one, and then this one. Yeah. And then that. Yeah. And I, I say that because, like, I don't know, the second one, it's very neat and organized. But I, I don't know, the other two sort of pop out at me more where it's like the kind of like what you said about the first one where it doesn't uh, doesn't have as much, you know, like that's unique about it, I guess, you know. Right. That stands out to you or says something to you, I guess. Just. You know, hey, I'm really neat and organized with this. Right. I mean, I, I guess I was, like, when I picked these, I was kind of looking for some things that sort of stood out for me besides just, like, you know, like, typical, you know, like, battle stations, I guess, you know. Station. Because these are supposed to be tw Twitch streaming stations, so, like, you, you got to look for... Uh, things that's you know you, like you said before you could just use pretty much any s computer for you know like streaming anything you wanted you know right he's got an xbox one here but you know he's using two computers so he's ready to go oh he's got two 24 inch lgs and a 134 inch for the streaming computer <laughs> This guy is going crazy. I personally, I'd probably go with this guy because even though the room itself is kind of plain, he's got more fun toys, man. He and does, big ass man. and big ass monitors. And then see this one I like because it's kind of neat. He's got you know similar monitors to what I'm doing here. Go on in here. And then this one is just utilitarian to me. Don't get me wrong, I'm an Andy fanboy. <laughs> but yeah. Maybe so I'm that... just distracted by the pretty lights with that one. Ooh, pretty. Yeah. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Demonetized. Now, these are the imager links I'm looking at, so they're bigger. But close them out. If you go straight to Reddit, my favorite has eight upvote eight eight upvotes. Okay. The middle one has sixty. And the uh, top one has 377. Okay, so the one we chose is... We, we could all agree on that one, then. <laughs> but, uh... I mean, I like... Don't get me wrong. I like the, you know, messy one best, but... <laughs> but, uh... Anyway. Would you like to see my uh, station, sir? Yep. Okay. I was trying to think of something smart assy, but I couldn't. 
You can't think of something? No. Okay. So this one's going to take a second to look at. He's got a lot going on here. I can ignore the lights that are... The LEDs that are kind of facing funny. Um... <laughs> I like the I like the Mr. Burns all tweaked out on the wall here. I don't care too much for the LED literally just going down the side of the shelf and back around. That's I don't know. Little, that's a little cheap. But then you, you know what I I would like to care for is uh a theme. Oh, you want to know what my theme is for th this week or this station? Uh, well, this week. Uh, my theme this week, see, are ones that ended up in my email inbox because I emailed them <laughs> to myself. See? Uh, oh, you don't buy that? Okay, uh, the theme is these are the fucking ones you get. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, he's got, a, you know, a projector here. See, so I'm guessing the wall that you're supposed to be at is where the screen is. He's got a Rick and Morty. He's got a Stewie. He's got a dude from Game of Thrones, Darth Vader. A lot of, you know, pop culture bullshit just on that wall in general. He's also got a nice Samsung TV. A little decent monitor down here. Is it, is it a Samsung? I didn't see. I think it is. He's got the weirdest place, Yamaha fucking speakers. I think they're the sevens, which are actually six inch, if I had to guess. Hey, at least he's got them risen up. It, well, Rise see... Up, fool. That, see, but they're turned sideways. I never understood that. And, 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 and see, 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 I enjoyed so much of the crap that you don't even, like, see, this is at first, I thought this wasn't in the rules because there's a there's a oh, there's a laptop right there. It's like shit. Don't tell me that's all he's got. He's powering this all off laptop. Oh no! Oh no! No, in the first picture. There's a there's a tower right there. It's right there. <laughs> Looks like he's got some bare dynamic headphones because those uh, the ear, ear pads are that gray velour. Looks like he's got some more Samsung monitors. His webcam's even on a fucking monitor arm. It's like a mic boom. See that? Yeah. That's different. That's interesting. Yeah. Um, well, some of those you could use if it's like a smaller screen, you know? Well, like, I think mine... Is there a... I don't know if there's even... Because he's got this... I think he's got the same camera I do. I don't even know if there's a... a Oh yeah, there is a. Uh, if you fold up the little thing on the back, there is a screw mount. So I get. I mean, he's got a GoPro and a tripod for that, so he probably kind of knows what the fuck he's doing. I like he's got this. Uh, where's that picture at? I just saw it. on his shelf up top here. He's got a little finger he's giving you the bird, man. <laughs> oh, here it is, in, back in that. Oh, nope, there's another one. Oh, God damn it. Which, which picture was it? I was just showing it. Eh, whatever. Oh, it's this one. There's the finger. Oh, no, I was going to say, hunt, hunt, hunt it down in your email. No, I just had it up on this post. I was like, I know it's here, but uh, I enjoyed this one, so I felt like sharing it. Okay, and I, I just want to, I just asked for a theme because I I put the themes in the uh, description. Oh, I I don't care. <laughs> oh, okay, I I didn't I didn't want a theme. I just said yeah, I like these. These are good. I was gonna go for a theme, but there weren't any that had like at first. The first couple, I was like maybe I'll go with the desk or wood because two of them had nice desk. That the third one, I said no. Nope, this has got to be. I was like, I can't not show this monster. Mm. And and then, you know, like this one. I mean, look at the finish on that desk. Yeah. 
And then he's got, you know, up close. There's this. See, he's got those, um, another one. That's one of those, uh, headphone magnets. See, the top, <laughs> the top comes off and it, you can run the cables through the bottom. But, I mean, look at all those lights. But I could tell your setups are definitely colorful. Oh, you know, Stormtrooper. Maybe that they'll all have color related, at least. Not always, but I mean, you know. What's he got here? The uh, Signum. All this shit just kind of thrown in it. Oh, yeah. Where's the... Com <coughs> oh. Stan Stain. Uh, service with no gloss. Yeah, he finished it himself. A lot of people do that. I mean, huh. if, I, if, if you really th feel like you're handy, I, I'm not. So, yeah. It's you're like not good with paints and stuff? I, uh, okay, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'll take that back. I'm good. I am just lazy. So, uh, yeah. He used this tabletop, which is 90 bucks. But it's it comes unfinished. So he had to stain it and then sand it and then put poly coats on it. And thing is, that takes a long-ass time. And I'm fucking lazy. I didn't do it. I didn't play a video game. Right. I bought oil for mine. I said, I'll put it in. No, I didn't do any of that shit. I put the... I built the, the drawers. I sat them down. I sat the damn tabletop <laughs> on it. I haven't even put the uh, leg in the back yet. But, you know, lazy. So, but, uh, that was the second one that I really thought was kind of groovy. He's got more than one picture, so you know, you'd like that. You know it. Don't yeah. lie to me. Third one, this was the first one I actually saw that I was like, okay, this has got to be talked about. First off, boom, look at this. Look how fucking big. <laughs> He's got his tower along the wall. Speaker. Two monitors side by side. And another speaker with a full fucking camera for his webcam. <laughs> yeah. And this is one of those fancier uh, Ikea countertops. The... Uh, I didn't look at the name. It's like the bazooka, but what is it? It's a... Where does he say it? Someone usually asks. I'll bet he does in the... Aw. He doesn't say it. That's a... Yeah, that's a that's an Ikea countertop, but it's one of the fancier ones. How big are those monitors? Two Phillips, 40 inches, 4K... Holy shit. It's like Barnacles. Is yeah. You know, he's, TVs. Bar Barnacles has a 50 now. Strafe RGB silent. Logitech MX Master Mouse. Yeah, it's the, the desk. He's got Alex drawers like I do, but then he's got a Barkadoa is the, is the countertop. So that's a $289 countertop. Shit. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's gorgeous. Because look at the, you know, the way the fucking grain is. You heard it here. Frank said it's gorgeous. Fucking gorgeous. Gives me now wood. Are, uh, now, are all these IKEA desks, all three of these setups? Uh, you know, I didn't actually look. Hold on. Because you were showing the second one in, like, the shopping cart or something, weren't you? Yeah. I didn't look at... Let me see here. Web... <laughs> What's the view like having the webcam on your arm? Oh, he, this guy posted a picture of his webcam on the arm. That's what his thing looks like on his desk. He's way out there. Um... Where the hell... 
Huh. Oh, where'd you get the mess over Mr. Burns? Oh, I made it myself. Um, I can't tell. It's it's an L-shaped desk. I'm trying to see if he says in the comments if it actually is. I wouldn't be surprised because you know everybody and their brother has them in there. Um, I, go ahead. Actually, what would be cool is uh, with the thread, since you can put threads on a lot of the webcams. Instead of doing an arm, you put it on one of those gorilla pod thingies where it's uh, so you can bend it whatever way that you want. Then you know. Oh, he, well, he's got one of those on his uh, shelf. He's got a gorilla thing right there, a little tripod. Yeah. But he's also got a GoPro, so you know. Um, what is it you put in to search? Is it F five? Uh. To search the, I the just, page I'm on. I just do control F. Is that it? Control F? At least in Firefox. That just highlights all this. I don't I don't want to highlight. Desktop mount, no. Oh. That's stupid. Never mind. <laughs> but uh this very well could be, it's, because uh, I don't know what the second one is, actually, at all. I think the second one is just a cheap, generic desk. The first one's at least an L corner desk, but I have no idea. He doesn't say what it is. No one asks, because no one asks questions when you really want to know. But this one, he spent damn near $300 on just the countertop part. He's got a Herman Miller Aaron ch chair. <sighs> Bastard. He, he must be just shitting money. Because those are $500 chairs start off cheap-wise. But, uh... Speakers. Paradigm. I never fucking heard of those. Oh, they're 900 bucks. Okay. Oh, well, you know, that's, uh, you know, that should do. Yeah. Oh, hold on, you're asking, it says fine, it's, it is control F on here. Okay. I never, I never use it. Oh, it's got the fractal design, define XL R2. Oh, sorry, people, Ian has the herps. <laughs> I just have a sinus infection. Yeah, side effect of the herps. Yeah. Yeah, he's got the the XL. So this is basically my case, but bigger. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight dry bays here, and then there's probably the two behind the motherboard. And you could take the five and a half bay out, cause or is it five and a half or five and a quarter, right? Right. No one fucking uses those. I don't. You know they make uh, what is it uh, you could do like four SSDs in in one of those like five inch, like five and a quarter inch bays or whatever. You know the yeah. I mean they're drives. they're thin. This one, I guess, it comes with a case fan in the floor, which is different. Basically the same. You could waste <clears throat> waste room and just do a, a two to three inch and then the three inch to the five inch and just right. have it be one. Yeah, see, it, it's got a built-in fan controller in the front that I don't have hooked up. I am seriously thinking about it, though. I want to get the NZXT cracking, though, the... Crack it. AIO. AIO. Crack so, I mean, it. you literally just pl plug that and some fans in. Look at this fucking radiator he's got on this beast. Oh my god. Radiator. What? Hold on. Does it say NVMe? He's got 512, 512, 850 gig power supply of Radeon Fury Nitro. 
Doesn't say this. Oh, custom water loop. Okay. Well, that fucking radiator is. It's half the size of the five and a quarter dry base. Hmm. Look at I the. Still don't... Look how tiny that graphics card is. Yeah. Yeah, it's it a, is. It's a Fury tiny. Nano, though. It's probably screaming. Uh -huh. <laughs> Screaming like it's Fury on fire or something, you know? On fire! Jesus. Now, okay. I just, I still don't understand why why there's had to be so many compatibility issues with the M.2 thing, you know? You like you would, you would think that those would have been able to be integrated pretty easily since it's just a PCI slot, you know? Oh, you mean with the Ryzen? Well, I mean, you pretty much have to have a motherboard that supports the NVMe, right? Yeah, I mean, I've got a, whoops, I've got a M.2 uh, uh, stick in my uh, computer, but it's not even a PCIe, it's SATA, and I didn't realize that, so the whole point of M.2 really was wasted on me. Right. Okay. Using Sparko Cam? How does your DSLR like that? Overheat at all? It does get a bit hot, but it hasn't caused any problems. I tried Sparko Cam, but it was too problematic. Half the time it would not detect the camera until I rebooted. Now I'm using this for HDMI capture, and it's got a link. Hmm. Using CCYK. 930 HD live gaming game streamer video capture box. It's a CND. What kind of pricing is that? Canadian? Or CDN, sorry. Or is that China? I always get the shit backwards. I, I, by the way, I, do, I do have to dock a point for all of the streams setups because they didn't, none of them had one of those Elgato a game uh streaming pad thingies. Can oh it is Canadian, okay. So for his uh uh what was that word? His uh DSLR he's using H D uh live game streamer. Yeah like I was thinking for my webcam like before I, I was able to get this I'll borrow this from Nate. I, I have a DSLR, and you can output a video from that, and I've seen pe people, you know, doing, you know, like a live thing with those. I mean, it's crazy. Does he say what kind it is here? I don't think he does. Let me look back in the Reddit. When you're done with that, can we uh, uh get started on judging? <laughs> okay. He, he didn't put a lot of data there. There's like four posts. So it, it's a camera. I don't know what kind. I think... I want to say Nikon, but I can't see. It might be Canon. Cause I can't get any closer. My eyes ain't that good. Well, is, uh, do you see any uh, Ashen Kutcher on there? Ha 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 No. So... Go ahead and you rate first since uh, this isn't your setup. Okay, let's cycle through them. Okay, you got you got bad L, but Dow, and then you got purple, <laughs> and then yeah, and then you got oh my god the memes the lulls. <coughs> so. Okay, uh, well, I, I will say off the bat, the second one has the best tower out of all of them. Because it's the, that, uh, tempered glass? Yeah, and the lighting is pretty cool, too. <clears throat> uh-huh. Um, but I'm, I'm not judging it by that. I'm going by, a, I'm going one, three, and then this one that we're looking at right now. So, one. so you like the crazy one the most? Yeah, I do. I'm a crazy mood tonight. 
he's got a lot going on, man. I mean, that's why I was like, oh my god, I gotta like. I was like, I gotta share this because he's he. I don't know how many upvotes he'll eventually get, but you know, it's it's wild and different. You don't go, oh, I'm just at any desk, any IKEA fucking desk, at, you know, that you see there. Like this guy, you know, this is. I hate to say it because it's nice. A little, some of it's cookie cutter, yeah. you know. Uh, right. it, it, 360 controller who doesn't have that Logitech speakers because he doesn't he doesn't feel like investing in some really nice speakers. Okay. No, other uh, ones invested in his walls a little bit more too. What the first one? Well, this one we're looking at it doesn't have like anything on the walls. Uh, yeah, you're right. They're kind of all just cream. And white. Yeah. He's got. Like he just stuck it there. And he's got this like three quarter height stormtrooper, which the uh, you always see. They're like my first battle station. They always have the storm stormtroopers as their wallpaper. And like half the time, you'll see somebody even po will post, "Okay, wallpaper checks out. This is your first battle station." So yeah. he probably got that when he's. Oh shit! I need to kind of hide that because I. I'd grown up a little bit. <laughs> and that yeah, I have to admit, like, when I got this uh, ultra-wide monitor, I was having fun just looking at ultra-wide, uh, you know, like, backgrounds, you know? Right, it's crazy. And then, like, you know, you don't know what... To, like, I see these little... Mo I'm like, really? That's... You know, it could be 27 inches. I wouldn't know at this point. It's probably not, really, now that I look at it, but... So his mouse pad, what were what? you saying? It, it was all in his computer. Then you were saying like the money. This one. Yeah. Um. Uh, yeah, I mean, because the desk is nice. Don't get me wrong. He put some work in it. Right. But what kind of guts does he have here? Uh. Table time. Winter is coming. Ha <laughs> ha. I mean, it's different. I like the I like the tabletop most. I have to say, while I appreciate the computer, but uh, this this like I said, I'm just I saw this and this was my number one. I was like, oh my god, really? Wow, that's <laughs> wow. Screens. Oh, dude. I mean, yeah, he's sitting in front of one, but I mean. Only way this would be better is if there was no middle uh, bezel here, and this was just one big ass monitor. Well, when you were zoomed out, I thought it was one of those like the super ultra wide things. Yeah, yeah, I saw, I see that, and I'm just like nut, you know, it's just. <laughs> er, my well, Garrett. Well, what the what were the votes then? For me, it's three. Um. One and then two, because while I love the desk, that's really the main thing on this one. This one has so much going for it, and then th this is just overkill. Just oh, uh, uh. yeah. So. And w one other thing, like I, we haven't before, but I think we sh should like. Would you still pick this one? Yours, your top one out of uh, over. Uh, our top one of mine. Yes. Okay. I uh, I would love to have a giant like nine foot fucking desk. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I don't care what. He's only got a computer, two speakers, and two monitors on it. And yes, that's yes. Ermagerd. <laughs> oh yes. I don't even have to see the computer. I mean, yes. <laughs> I was disappointed when I realized I only bought a six foot uh, countertop. Okay, I thought I bought an eight foot. And it worked out better in the end, but still. <laughs> I like screens and desk. Screens and desk. Desk and screens. screens. That's right. <clears throat> now, what did. Uh, let's see what Reddit voted real quick. 
uh, they gave my boy a 21. The the other one a 328, so they like the wood too. And then this crazy shit got 983. So <laughs> I was scrolling through and I said, "That's Mr. Fucking Burns." So, but well, I mean, uh, we do have our personal favorites on here, so I mean, right? You know, you gotta choose what you want to do. You can't do what the crowd chooses, you know. Right. So, is it time for some uh, news, sir? I suppose we should get into that. Yeah. Before it's before morning, right? Then the morning comes. The news with Ian and his cold. Yep. Goodbye, net neutrality. Ajit Pai's FCC supposed to allow blocking and throttling. <clears throat> but pro net neutrality groups will sue FCC to reinstate consumer protections. Only <laughs> only just only 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 only. I mean, do we even need to read anything here? Yeah, I mean. uh, uh, okay, I we're we're gonna uh, have articles for people to. Re- There's stuff to read. All right, you can't. Yeah. You. It's funny too. You get on the internet, and the internet's like, "Oh God, they're taking us away." But you turn on the radio, and like my entire ride home, the past two days, I've like, I want to hear people talk about it. And then I hear people talk about it, and I go, I don't want to hear people talk about it because people are ignorant. It's either people going, we really don't get what it means, or the Republicans who go, it's not that different. And like today, this morning, one guy goes, yeah, was your internet any different when you got up this morning? No. And I'm like, oh, shut the fuck up. That's not how it works. (coughs) So... Yeah. I have several stories. I'm just going to uh, open the links up and uh, uh, point out how similar they are to whatever you have, sir, if you don't mind. Well, the, the second one that I have was state attorney generals line up to sue the FCC over net neutrality repeal. Hold um, on. I, I, I so have, there's that. I know. I have. I already had one in my uh, clipboard. Let me go and copy yours. Eh. Copy. And then... Uh, did you uh, did you have the temporary security scare where they had to <clears throat> temporarily get out of there or whatever? <laughs> uh, oh no, uh, oh actually, I thought I did. Did you see? I sent uh Ben and you a link for uh you could watch it live. Um. If if you were so inclined, right? I tried to watch it, but it like it's like watching C-SPAN. Yeah, it takes like three days to get through. Well, I, I watched the couple of clips that uh, Philip DeFranco get, gave his uh, commentary on. You beautiful bastards! Yeah. I got a whole bunch here, and I'm, we're not going to read all of them. I'm just going to post them so I can refer to them. Okay, we already have that one. Right. Well, when I when I do the description, I'll definitely group all these together. I, I'm, yeah, I tried most of them were together, and then some are like <clears throat> some are just uh, related, similar stories that aren't the exact same. Um. Like, ISPs won't promise to treat all traffic equally after net neutrality. Lots of talk, little promise. And, uh... It's from Verge. Um, 
the first one I thought was actually interesting because oh, go oh, wait, I want this one. This one, okay. Another Verge article. Net neutrality is dead. It's time to fear Mickey Mouse. They actually touched on another topic that was kind of similar because Disney bought Fox. They did. We talked about that. And the whole thing is not just like them being taking uh, the internet from a utility to it's a service. It's it's all conglomerates and. Eventually, here's how you know in bed everybody is. Disney now is controlling stake in Hulu. Hulu jointly owned by Disney, 30%. Fox, 30%. Comcast, 30%. And Time Warner, 10%. To compete with YouTube, Disney owns more than both Comcast and Time Warner combined. Comcast owns NBC Universal, which broadcasts shows on Hulu. Time Warner is about to be owned by AT&T, which is a competitor of Comcast. Time Warner is a competitor of both NBC and Disney. Comcast and AT&T control the network that people use to watch content from Disney, Time Warner, and NBC. Uh, this is a fun place to put disclosure. Comcast, uh, NBCU division, is a minority investor in Vox Media, which owns The Verge, this website. So, basically, they're like, everybody's in bed with each other, and everybody hates each other at the same time. So, <laughs> it's the... the the point is, it's going to be confusing, and that's how they get you. Because people already kind of go, I don't quite understand it. And well, they, they want you to be on their... They want to act like they hate them, to, so you are be on their side, you know? Well, that... If you're, if you're ignorant of it, you're not going to see that you're paying for what you're not getting. Just like when you're, you know, you don't notice a small addition to your credit card statement every month. Because you're not looking at every line by line by line, and it's so murky and confusing, you know the the anchors and us talking about it, we kind of have an idea what we're talking about, and it's still confusing and boring to us. You know what I mean? Yeah. So the average person's going to get dicked over extra hard. And uh, this article here was just what the uh, ISPs all say, like Comcast. <clears throat> what you know. What Verizon says, T-Mobile, which I don't believe any of them, but hey, it's capitalism. It's it's good for them. It's gonna be good for you, Frank. Yeah, but everyone's like, "Well, it's an open market. It's gonna be fine." And I'm like, "No, just like the just like the vote for the tax cut is a trickle down tax cut. I'm not gonna see a fucking penny." <laughs> the, the, well, corporations are going to take the money and they're going to invest. No, they're not. They just, you know, they just had a guy uh, doing a presentation, and he says, "Okay, all you people that are billionaires, because there are billionaires in the audience, how many of you are going to invest in your company when you get this tax cut?" Nobody raised their fucking hands. The guy's like, "Why? Why aren't you guys raising your hands? Because they don't get rich by spending their fucking money. They send it overseas to sit in some bank until they get their golden parachute and retire." But yes, uh, was this your article or mine about the bomb threat? I remember you asking me. Oh, yeah. So bomb threat temporarily disrupts FCC vote to kill net neutrality rules. Repeal vote was about to happen when GPI announced brief recess. Just as FCC was about to vote on eliminating its net neutrality rules this afternoon, FCC chairman GPI was uh, interrupted by a staffer and then called for a break in the meeting. On advice of security, we need to take a brief recess. If people are hating it so bad that there's fucking bomb threats and protests, maybe you shouldn't go through with this deal. I mean, people say he's not, he's ignoring. No, he's not ignoring. He's ignoring the people. His pocket is greased by his former employer, Verizon. Well, the thing is, it, it's like, I could see it if it's either way, because, like, uh... The, well, I was gonna. I should ask first. The, did they pretty much say that this it was like a real threat somebody was doing? Like, did they catch somebody or? Um, I didn't read the whole article because I was like, "Oh, you mean he didn't get blown up? Too bad." Well, I'm, I was gonna say, if they if it was like fake or something, like I because I I you could put it on your tinfoil hat and be like, "Well, if it's fake, then that's just like them trying to." You know, like, <coughs> say yeah. people are so crazy, you know, right. that they're going against this. They detract know? from the people that are actually protesting and making a fuss. 
which is it's funny because that's how the system is made to work. You're supposed to be able to protest, make a fuss, and then go, oh, people actually don't like it. Let's vote in favor of the people. Now the now the status quo is they say, oh, people will like it, and then people protest. They go, well, they're just crazy. You can't listen to them. They're crazy. And, <laughs> you know, I, I had a guy trying to talk to me and say, oh, we don't need the regulations. Give me an example. So someone gave it, and this was in a chat, so people were posting links, and the a guy gave a, a link to us, you know, here's exactly when this ISP did this bad thing. Oh, but you can't believe that article, yada, yada, yada. It's, it's a Wikipedia article. And yet I said, okay, so you ask for examples, but then when you give them to you, they're not good enough. You know, it's like, well, you can't have it both ways. you got to have an actual discussion about it. And I was like, do you believe your ISP? I have no reason not to. I said, well, what ISP? And someone said, well, what ISP do you have? Comcast. Yeah, okay. They're the they're the textbook example of fucking over their people, but okay. He hasn't been... He, I should have followed up with, how old are you? Have you not seen it? I don't... There's no Comcast here in Ohio, and I know how fucked up it is. So, that's... But Frank, you could... You could choose not to have internet. Yeah. That was the main argument. The radio stations, people who didn't understand it, were like, no, it shouldn't be a a, a utility because you can go without it. And and then on Facebook, one of my friends who's actually a professional that's a web designer and uh, she's a pinstriper like me and an artist, she says, no, I stand to lose actual fucking dollars if they throttle my website because a lot of my customers are out of state that I meet online and I was saying lose actual figures and money. And people are like, ah, I was fine for the internet. I'm, I'll be fine later. Like, okay, no. And like they said on the radio, oh, you know, I need water. No, you don't. Where my dad grew up just got running water last year. And electricity is a utility. The Amish still don't fucking have that. So you can live without all this shit. Sure. But in this day and age, it's twenty fucking almost twenty eighteen. Uh, already, they're giving up the infrastructure because it's so expensive to add fiber, which is just a piece of plastic they're sticking in the, in the ground, right? right? I mean, it shouldn't well, be you, that hard to run it, but you could live. But are you really living though? No, it, it, yeah, you'll live, but it'll be in standard definition. Yeah, that's and. We get back to this term here. You remember when they called a, a manual transmission a standard? Yeah. And now my brother-in-law bought a truck with a manual transmission. A truck, okay? So that's the most utilitarian vehicle you're supposed to have, right? Right. Uh, he had to special order it to get a manual transmission. Oh, now if you if you watch video in standard definition, it's fucking unwatchable. Like, I have TV shows uh, on DVD that are standard definition, because that's all they had. And blown up on a big screen TV, it looks terrible. It looks like old YouTube videos from the you know late 90s. Yeah. So, but it's all you had, so you have to watch it. You know, and you, you can't go backward. And the thing is, people are like, well, you don't have to get what... Okay, a lot of places, you only have the one. The guy on the radio I was listening to, his big argument was, no, that's locally. On one side of the city, it's this. On the other side, it's that. That's a governmental issue. And I'm like, no, it's not. There's only, like, one real option. If you're want, if, if you a grown-up and you want fast internet, you know who has the fastest. You have to buy them. If there's well, only there's one plenty place, of I'll... options out there. No, I can't. <laughs> I ha... Money in hand, I can't get on fiber if I want it, which I do want it. Uh, the highest I can get, I, I, you have the same provider I have, but for whatever reason, they bumped yours up to 100 just to do it. To me, I think I'm still on 60, even though th that's that's the package I signed up for, but that's what you had, right? Right. The minimum anybody should be getting on the network is 100. Yeah, see, I don't, I don't think, I don't think that's what I got. Let me, I, I can give them a call, but, you know, it'll be like, well, sorry, you're paying for sixty. I go, well, yeah. Well, you, that's what you should be getting because, like, that this, like, they shouldn't even be uh, giving anybody that speed anymore. Oh no! When I called, because we have a streaming uh, 
uh, television with them now. And, you know, because I had Sling TV, but then we can get local channels if we get their package. So uh, we signed up for it. And while the guy had us, we weren't on hold, but he didn't talk. He's just sitting there clicking, clicking, clicking. He goes, you've got the 60 uh, megabits uh, internet <coughs> connection, right? And my wife's like, D do we? <laughs> I had to tell her, I was like, because we upgraded because we were only doing like three megabits or some shit like that. And I was like, honey, if we don't have cable, we need faster internet. And, you know, I want the fastest. I mean, there's no point. But, uh, yeah, right now it says I'm doing 47. Well, what you, you got to do is you got you to talk, talk to them, tell them that's uh, what you, this is the minimum, this is what you should be getting, this is what everybody else I've talked to uh, was bumped up to. Like, you, in, in fact, you'll probably have to get a new router and stuff to be updated. I don't have their router. I have my own router. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, what do you mean, yeah, that's right? Well, I, I know that you paid for a nice one, so I yes, forgot it about that. I'm, I'm, re I, I'm still renting mine. I Mine was so old, they didn't even want to... They're like, oh, yeah, we'll just... They're like, we'll uh, remove the rental fee. They didn't even ask for it back. Yeah. I'm um, trying to remember what model I have. Yeah, I got an Eris, I think it is. And uh, I'm not going to show it because, uh, you know, but right, it's rated Which... for it's rated for uh, Comcast, Xfinity, Time Warner, Charter, Cox. T -t 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 Download speed up to 343 megabits. That's more than gigabit, yeah. right? Right. So that I'll be able to handle it. Well, I would. I would definitely just talk to them and tell them to see if they can update your profile or something like that with the. Because I I know that like the changes and the plans change like every year or something because like they up the, you know, like the prices on everything every year. Well, the thing is, I've got I'm paying for sixty, and I bear I got it like when I first went live with it. I said, "All right, I got sixty, and then it's never. Been, actually, I think when it was Time Warner, I bumped it up to eighty because that was what they had at the time. But I don't know. But uh, yeah, that. What a fucking time to be alive, huh? So. The FCC know. just voted to allow your internet company to charge you more for Netflix and Facebook. See, the argument for people that don't understand net neutrality, I'm not going to get into a big, long discussion about it. You can Google it if you want. But if your electric company, if you plug something in, your electric company doesn't care if you plug in a microwave or a TV set or a toaster. It still will turn it on because it's just providing the electricity. If your internet provider would just provide internet, they wouldn't give you bullshit, you know, fake caps when you're supposed to be unlimited. They wouldn't block you they're from gonna, certain sites. They're not going to charge you to use your toaster more than like your refrigerator. Right. They, you could solder and build a bomb with it if you fucking want. They don't. They don't care. They just provide your electricity. They just provide your water, whatever. And look, filed under internet gurgling dying sound. <laughs> <clears throat> so look at all these frowny faces when it was live angry it's like, it's like... <laughs> I think of uh, in B Buffy the Vampire Slayer when he's like uh, uh, uh. it's like a 10 minute death scene <laughs> I'll watch the entire movie just to get to that part and laugh and laugh and laugh oh man <clears throat> Whatever happened to that? The one guy that was like the uh, wolf, the werewolf guy that was, you know, the Doctor Evil's kid, and uh, Austin awesome Powers. Uh, Seth Green. Yeah, Seth Green. Whatever happened to him, man? You never hear anything about him. Uh, he's the voice of Chris on Family Guy. Oh, okay. So he's mostly doing like TV stuff, huh? Well, well, Ian. Let's see. 
Let's see what Seth Green's up to. Actor. Uh, where's filmography? There's a filmography as an actor. Whoop. Uh, post production TV series. He does a voice for Obi Wan. Um. Family Guy, Robot Chicken, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, from 2014 to 2017. It uh, does a lot of voiceover work, I guess. Huh. Oh, he was he was Howard the Duck for Guardians of the Galaxy. Huh. Uh, he's still doing shit. He ain't dead yet, bro. But uh, yes. Sorry, we're getting off topic, but we're. Enjoying the internet a little bit here. Yeah. <laughs> While it lasts, right? Right, till you can't. I mean... <clears throat> Reddit and other users broke the internet to support net neutrality, by the way. Net neutrality rules were appealed by the FCC uh, Thursday, barring any unlikely last-minute changes, but net neutrality advocates won't let the vote pass quietly. Today was Break the Internet Day, in which many websites alter their appearance and Urge visitors to contact members of Congress about the pending repeal. See the gallery above for examples from Reddit, Kickstarter, GitHub, Mozilla, and, uh, and others. Excuse me. There were also in-person protests last week, and there will be more on the way before the SEC vote. The pressure might be having some effect, as uh, even a few Republican lo lawmakers are speaking out against the repeal. Democrats were already solidly behind net neutrality rules. Congress would reverse the FCC's decision or impose a new set of net neutrality rules, although that doesn't seem likely given the sizable Republican majorities in the House and Senate. While the issue may ultimately be decided in court, net neutrality supporters clearly won't let members of Congress make it through this week without hearing from them. Uh, I know, um, who's the, uh, is it Schuster? The uh, Democrat leader, um, he said that he's going to force a vote about it. Because he knows people are pissed off. Because the thing is, even if you don't agree with the whole idea of net neutrality, they decided to go and vote up against this when the people didn't get to vote. People put comments and they said, no, nah, we, we have a comment system, but it's all fake comments, so fuck it, we're just going to vote. Well, no, that's not how you do that. And second, New York... Uh, I don't remember, I apologize. I don't remember what politician in New York said. Now, wait a minute. A lot of these people are supposedly dead or had their identity stolen. And using somebody else's identity in New York is a crime. We would like to actually prosecute. And she yeah, said, no, 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 we're going to we're going to go ahead and vote. So it, I, I don't know ahead. if you mentioned it, but they also didn't they use like dead people's names and shit, too. Yes. Yes. Dead people and stolen IDs. And, you know, you can't say, well, we're going to let you talk about it. And then people talk about it and then they go, well, never mind that. You're all a bunch of dirty fucking liars and just go ahead. And it was, it, it's just a formality at this point. It's all he was doing. He wants to push this thing through. And now there's going to be protests and uh, lawsuits, you know, out the ass. And eventually they're going to say, well, we, you can't enforce because Congress and uh, the Senate, can uh, I can't remember which one they were taught. They have the which what is Schuster the head of? That's what I'm thinking of. Uh, no Schumer, right? Is yeah, Pelosi? I think you're right. Which which one? I can't remember. Schumer, I think. <coughs> Schumer. Um. Pelosi. Yeah, they're where? What are they? I'm sorry. They're. I always go back and forth between. You know, the representatives and the Senate, and I always get confused as to who does what. So, net neutrality. Yeah, Chuck Schumer. Okay, so he's a Senate. Okay, Senator. Promises uh, a Senate vote on overturning FCC's net neutrality repeal. I read this tonight. And no, I don't want a crock pot. Oh, God, go away. <laughs> yeah, but you see those ads will buffer just generate right revenue, there. and they don't give a fuck. I saw a YouTube video my one of my buddies linked. It was a 
this guy's like, hi, I'm your local internet provider. And do you like free open internet with no you know limitations where you can go wherever you want and do what you want? Well, fuck you. We want money. <laughs> you, can t- you can buy our shove it up your ass package or a suck my dick and call me sir. <laughs> you know, and it was hilarious. But the Senate Minority Leader, Charles Schumer, said Friday he intends to force a vote on a bill that would preserve Obama-era net neutrality rules, which the Federal Communications Commission decided to repeal this week. Democrats want to use the Congressional Review Act uh, to overturn the FCC's decision. The Congressional Review Act gives Congress the ability, with a majority in the House and Senate, to repeal uh, agency rules. The Republicans employed the tactic frequently during the first half of the year to roll back rules passed during the last days of the Obama administration. That's another thing. This whole thing is A, giving money back to these corporations, and B, just undoing anything Obama did. Because the, the argument has always been, well, we had net neutrality before Obama, so what's the matter? No, Obama switched and made it so that it is a utility, which it fucking is. I'm sorry. And right. people don't well, think it should be, and they want to undo it. It's bullshit. Right. I mean, uh, and also, by the way, didn't wasn't it a, a, two, uh, what, a three to two vote or something like that? Yes. Uh, one of the girls, oh, sorry, one of the ladies that had voted against it, not only made the statement about it, she's actually made an article. I am in the FCC and we're voting to end net neutrality. Please stop us. That was the title of the article. And yeah, the other people you know, were so passionate, including that the one lady, like they were very passionate about it. Like she pretty much said that the FCC is just pretty much uh abandoning the law, you know? Yeah. They're just doing this everything behind closed doors, back you know uh, shady deal, you know. Oh, you guys don't know what you're talking about. And they had the basically the founding fathers of the internet come up and go, "You guys don't even understand the practicality of what the internet is, let alone how to use it." So, it's a joke. I mean, you got to people fear change, but you have to change the way you regulate this because it's a new th- just like uh, you know, when cars came along instead of horses, you know, and shit like that. Sh- the everything's moving faster than bureaucracy, and you can't just say, "Well, let it be the wild west; it'll regulate itself." They already said that FTC is going to take care of it, and the FTC said, "No, we're not. We're not in charge of that." <laughs> and I'm just, uh, um, I have hopes, but it's going to be a long drive. But when they broke the internet, sorry, you've experienced a lot of bandwidth for. Reddit.com, please update your internet plan. And like in the top corner, it's like, oh, ma- maxed out. <laughs> yep. So, I, I was like, oh, that's cute, but you know. <sighs> yeah, and if, if you always just, if you just look at Jipai's picture of it, just him smiling, I'm sure you got one of the articles here with that, but oh. he, he just looks like he's like, he has such a smug <laughs> smile on his face, yeah. you know? Yeah, fuck you. I know what's best. Look at this. Pornhub did a porn. Slow porn sucks. And people are like, wait, you're, you're fucking up our porno? No, no, no. Don't do that. And like, um, did you see? Uh, um, what was it? Uh, what's the guy from Parks and Rec? Uh. Um. There we go, Ron. Ron Swanson. <coughs> so a G Pi had uh, for Vice. He he showed his office. He has a, a poster of a uh, Ron Swanson's uh, a pyramid of greatness. It was you know, obviously oh, from yeah, Parks that... Rec, and uh, yeah, he's like no. You don't have any honor, sir. Get that out of there. Here we go. Here's his tweet. I'm flattered that my pyramid of greatness has inspired you. I will remind you that the top category is honor. Sadly, based on your uh, duplicitous uh, handling of the net neutrality issue and the way you are willfully ignoring the public you claim to serve, I feel you may need that term to find, which means, of course, that you don't have it. Ooh, Nick Offerman. Ooh. 
I know I had this story last week, but fuck this guy. Um, um, by the way, state attorney generals line up to sue the SEC over the net neutrality repeal. So it's, you know, as soon as they're like, and hey, we're done, and they're like, and we're suing. I, you knew this going in. I, if you were surprised, that's adorable. Cause well, pretty much the main point to be made about all this is, yeah, like the, it's definitely not going to be over. There's so much, going to be so much backlash in all kind of sectors of society here. You know, it's like. Mm-hmm. I mean, you can't summarize the the definition by saying, oh, yeah, they could fuck you over if they want, but they said they're not going to do it. Okay, next on the agenda... W- wait, what was that? People actually pay attention, and yeah. the people that will argue this and say it's a bunch of crap are usually career politicians that stand to lose a lot of endorsements if they don't grease palms and get shit a-flowing, so... Yeah, there's that smug asshole right there. Um, <laughs> He's like, yeah, I fucked yeah. you. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we just fucked him good. Yeah. He, but, he went in dry, too, didn't he? Uh, oh. <clears throat> Let's talk about some other shit that's uh, not as depressing. <laughs> what? 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 You're breaking up. I'm sorry. What? Let's talk about shit that's not as depressing. I think your bandwidth is going down. Oh no, they heard me talking about him. Fuck. <laughs> I'll just mess it with you, man. Oh, fucking ads. <laughs> yeah, again, see, the ads will play fine. New York City law that. Good. Don't care. Pause. New York City law that makes dog sitting illegal without kennel license triggers rage from pet lovers. Pet lovers are barking mad. Oh boy. Over a little-known city rule that makes dog sitting illegal in New York, health department rules ban anyone from taking money to care for an animal outside a licensed kennel. And the department has warned a popular pet sitting app that its users are breaking the law. The laws are antiquated. Uh, antiquated said Chad Bacon, 29, a dog sitter in Greenpoint, Brooklyn, with the app Rover. If you're qualified and able, to... oh Jesus fucking <laughs> Jesus. If you're qualified and able to provide a service, I don't think you should be penalized. Bacon, a former zookeeper and wildlife researcher, signed up for the app to help make ends meet while he was between jobs, but did enough business that he now makes his living from it full time. I was looking at it as a way to pay bills in the meantime, he said. It's become a full time job. The health cone bads boarding, feeding, and grooming animals for a fee without a kennel license and says those licenses can't be issued for private homes. Rover hopes to get the law overturned, potentially uh, setting up another tech battle like the city uh, clashes with Uber and Air- Airbnb. Yeah. <sighs> so, so pretty much, I guess, I guess there was like some kind of bill that was introduced to start all this licensing stuff with it, where like if you're uh, paid any kind of money, uh, even if you're younger, you have you know like a teenager or whatever, trying to make a couple bucks, you. Like, if you're just feeding the dogs, if you walk them or if you're watching over them, they, they want to start requiring, you know, like, licenses and stuff for all of this. And, unfortunately, right. they, it's even, what was that one sentence where it says the license can be issued to somebody that's in a private residence? So, like, you can't even be, like, a just like a normal person, and you have to be, like, a, a whole company <clears throat> or something. Right. Now, th- now this isn't the most up-to-date article, uh, just point out, just from July, but I had yeah. heard about this, and, you know, uh, the internet, you know, moves faster than actual legislation, so look for them to find ways around it and shit before, you know, they actually... Well, uh, I, I sort of did this, did this to sort of get Spark, like, a more general conversation of like what is your opinion on like because uh they've they've like given fines and stuff to actual just like kids selling lemonade on the side of the street like right you think like every kind of like dollar that you make has should be licensed nowadays i mean um i mean if it's if it is your you know 
full time actual job, you know, it then you know, yeah, because like this guy, like he said, he does it full time. Look how many dogs he's walking here. Yeah, I, I mean, that's not just somebody watching somebody else's dogs for the day, right? And you know. I, I think the reason <clears throat> for the that this started was because like there was like some kind of video that came out about this guy that was like watching a dog or something. He like uh, severely abused it or something. Yeah, because you don't know who these fuckers are, especially if it's not some certified person who actually went through stuff. I mean, when we went on vacation, we had our dogs boarded. <clears throat> First, we had him boarded at a guy who makes it. Uh, he does it. Yes, he does it out of his home, but he has property with horses and shit and a barn. He built a a um. He built a uh, what's the fancy word I want to use for building here? But a a found not foundation, but a uh, structure. He built a structure just for keeping the animals, uh, so that they're not all in his house or just in his yard. They're actually you know in a kennel and uh, the dogs like him he watches several of them and it's what he loves to do and that's great uh we you know just recently had to leave them at an actual kennel that was more of a business uh because he was unable you know unavailable at the time but you know in a big city like that i could understand there being some competition and the the you know an app is a good way to see reviews from other people and to get word of mouth um but yeah. i mean I, well, I i i can see both sides of the argument because you don't want to leave your animals with just anybody but if you if you're if you have to travel or if there's something that goes on that you got to you know leave you want to know your you know pets are going to be taken care of right so, but un unfortunately, I think with these, it's like the it, it's very cost prohibitive too, and like you you have to, uh, you know, like check off all of these things just to be able to do it. Like they need some kind of transition as far as like if you're oh if you're only doing one or if you're doing how many large business, you know, you want to de make sure that you're trusted and stuff with all this versus right. just like some <clears throat> kid just trying to make a five bucks or something, you know. Right, it's basically they're trying to make a loophole to where it just totally phases sh something out. Like in, a, I think it was was it Japan, you couldn't tattoo unless you had a, a medical license, which nobody who's a tattoo artist has a fucking medical license because they're not doctors. So right. it basically just was non-existent legally in Japan. I think that's where it was. But it's, you know... It's, they're sweeping it under the rug, and they don't want to fix it because it's solving a problem that's not a legit problem for anybody but them. So, right. As long but, as uh, you, it's doable for most people to do, I mean, it it shouldn't be like a big problem. I guess you know. I don't know. Uh, it's it's we we'll have to see. Yeah, it's a it's a big issue. I can see both sides of the argument, but because it destroys your ability to get your dog to somebody because they can't afford yeah. the fees but then you know you don't want to give your dog to just anybody so there's both sides of the argument well hopefully some kind of middle ground can be figured out here yeah i like dogs so and cats oh puppy yeah jury backs graffiti artist who sued over destroyed work oh boy <laughs> A federal jury has sided with a group of New York graffiti artists who sued over the destruction of the work. A judge will now decide whether artists must be compensated for the loss of their uh, whitewashed murals. The jury's advisor ruling came Tuesday in a lawsuit over a site in Queens known as Five Points. Number five with a Z at the end. For point. <laughs> Owner Jerry Wolkoff allowed the spray paint artist to use his buildings for decades, but said... They always knew the buildings would be torn down someday. The graffiti was painted over in 2013, and the buildings were torn down in 2014. The artist sued uh, Wolkoff under the Visual Arts Rights Act, a 1990 federal art or federal law that protects arts artists' rights even if someone else owns the physical artwork. A jury in Phil Court in Brooklyn heard three weeks worth of testimony but the attorneys for the two sides argued agreed last week to have uh, judge frederick block render a verdict and use the 
jury is ruling only as a recommendation. Block has asked the attorneys to submit papers over the next few weeks, after which he will rule. Wolkoff's lawyer, David Ebert, declined to comment on the trial. Eric Baum, a lawyer for the 21 artist who sued Wolkoff, said that because the case involves complex issues of fact and law, he believes it is important to have uh, input from members of the community on all issues, but ultimately have the court make a final decision. Oh boy. Well, okay, so let's yeah, let's get your opinion on this uh, coming from somebody who's you know like pinstriper. Uh, you mean as an artist? What do I think? Yeah. Just general artists, you like to make designs and stuff, you know. I mean, you don't graffiti <clears throat> on places, but well, the thing is, they let him, you know, they let them do it, but they should have also said, Hey, we're gonna be doing this, you might want to, you know, take it down. I mean, it depends if the if the building was sold and the land was gonna be used for something else versus. If the place was so bad it was falling down and had to be taken down for safety reasons or up to code, that's different issues. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's a it's a law that's on the books. I don't. I haven't read it, so I can't really give too much insight into that. Um, because people, the knee jerk reaction for people reading this article go, "Well, that's stupid. They're graffiti artists." The what the kind of art does not say the kind of person who made it. You can't tell a person's character by the art that they create. Just like Eminem may or may not beat the shit out of his wife. Uh, you know, Jay Z may or may not cheat on his wife. Uh, you know, uh, right. Van Gogh may or may not have one ear. Um, <laughs> it's. You know, you, just because you create stuff in a certain way doesn't mean you are a certain way, and people need to remember that. Now, 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 do you, they're tagging, they're thugs, man. Now, the Visual <laughs> Rights Arts Act. Let me let me see if I can Google this while, on the fly while we're here. Uh, Wikipedia. Yeah, the Visual Reddit. Rights Arts Act uh, is a United States law granting certain rights to artists. Where it was the first federal. Copyright legislation to grant protection to mural rights. There is a whole Wikipedia, the Wikipedia entry about it. Uh, mural rights of uh, certain, uh, regardless of subsequent owners, restitution. Uh, may sue the owner of the physical painting for destroying the painting, even if the owner of the painting lawfully owned it. So they could sue. That, that's why they said that there's a jury and all that shit, because... The, the thing is, the courts make the law, and then it's up to the judges and the juries to enforce slash interpret the law. Um, that's why they say – that's why a lawyer practices law. I have the some of the comments from the uh, – there's just a few of them, but they, I, I got it originally from this uh, CG uh, forums uh, post. That's where I originally discovered this article from. They have some opinions or he says I don't have much sympathy for the artist. Of course not. Comment. Of course they don't. You gotta remember these are also shit talkers on the internet. <laughs> I haven't read the article. I don't have much sympathy for the artist. The building owner was good enough to tell them uh cover his building with their artwork effectively promote the artist's talents for free. They got a free ride for years and should be more uh, grateful instead of being opportunists to uh, out to sue and profit from the property owner's kindness. What a load of crap. See, this is all... Uh, uh, people get an outrage and then everyone's a downy downer. And they go, isn't that <laughs> stupid? Well, yes, everything that somebody does is inherently stupid, but you gotta pick it apart and actually take it at face value. A gut feeling does not Render actual merit, but uh, well, nah, you, nah. just hearing that term that makes me laugh and that brings me up. Just you saying Downy Downer, oh, okay, <laughs> that puts a smile on my face. <clears throat> oh, okay, then. 
Um, SB was here. Surgeon pleads guilty to burning initials into patients' organs. Holy Jesus. <laughs> yes, yeah, sorry. Some of these were kind of... I know we meant to transition to some more positive articles, but I sort of forgot I did these. <laughs> you did, didn't put them in any kind of particular order. You just threw them in there. <laughs> yeah. I guess Doc I was kind of depressed from the whole thing. <laughs> Dr. Simon... Bramhall admitted to using an argon beam to etch SB onto livers. <sighs> it's usually okay to be proud of your work and lend your name to it, but most people would draw the line at signing their initials into the flesh of internal organs. Not Dr. Simon uh, Bramhall of the UK. Apparently he pleaded guilty to charges that he etched his initials SB onto the livers of two transplant patients with an argon beam in 2013. Bramhall admitted the assaults in a hearing in Birmingham Crown Court on Wednesday, according to several news outlets. In doing so, he pleaded guilty to two counts of assault by beating, but he pleaded not guilty to the more serious charge of assault uh, occasioning a, a actual body harm. Prosecutors were said to have uh, accepted his pleas, and he is scheduled to be sentenced on January 12th. Uh, where he gained fame for a dramatic liver transplant in 2010. Holly has discovered that it initializes patients' organs. Doctors first spotted the letters SB on the liver of one of his transplant patients during a follow-up surgery. They later learned of initials on another patient. He's suspended and... Re at the time, it's going to risk bringing the profession into disrepute, and it must not be repeated. Yeah. An argon beam, a jet of ionized argon gas, which surgeons use to control bleeding during procedures. Doctors who are part of the investigation don't think the marks are harmful and expect them to clear up on their own. But Prosecutor Elizabeth Reed said that the organ signing amounted to criminal abuse of trust, according to the Guardian. It was an intentional application of unlawful force to patient while anesthetized he said his acts in marking the livers of those patients in a wholly unnecessary way was deliberate and conscious acts on his part oh, wow so uh, this is uh, not so good graffiti <laughs> I, someone who even if he did put his initials on a transparent liver is it really bad I wouldn't have cared if he did to me she added the man saved my life okay but what the fuck here? It's pretty well, tight. I'm going to tag this. All I can say is it's better than a boner. Boner, boner, boner. Wouldn't, wouldn't anyone else in the fucking operating room go, Doc, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> well, yeah, that's what I was wondering. Like, what is everybody, like, what, you send them off to a coffee break or something? Right. It's like, good job. I'm going to close. Go ahead, don't you turn around now. Sign this <laughs> motherfucker. Oh fuck, I wrote Bob Ross. Let me cross that out. This is just Do some happy burns. Happy little trees on my now why? What would give it you no one's gonna fucking see this. I'm gonna sign that shit. I did such a all he's doing is transplanting a fucking organ. He's let me stuff this thing in here that you need to live. He's not making a... If he made a heart, yeah, then I could see hey, this heart was there was only 508. He'd signed and numbered the son of a bitch. That'd be different. Jesus. You know what the doctor did? He get, After he signed that, he gave the middle finger and he said, Oh, you got burned. <laughs> Cosmic rays could help unlock the secrets of the pyramids. There's a huge long and cold for history. I gotta pause this stupid ad. And I said I gotta pause <laughs> this goddamn ad. <clears throat> There's a long and colorful history of people trying to unlock the secret of how the Egyptian pyramids were built and possibly find hidden rooms and corridors for good measure. And now a new uh, uh, international project uh, aims to peer through the stone walls of these ancient structures using cosmic rays. Excuse me, guys. Actually, the Scan Pyramids Project will use uh, several different cutting-edge techniques to non-invasively uh, image uh, pyramids in Gaza and Dashur. 
uh, thermal imaging, drone-mounted scanners, and, te and a technique called mound uh, tomography. Not sure if I pronounced that right. The project sure. will kick off November 2016, so this has been going on for a minute, and will run for a full year with the support of the Egyptian Ministry of uh, Anti uh, Anti How did it help? Antiquities? Yeah, Antiquities. Muon tomography works a bit like X-ray imaging or ground penetrating radar, except the technique uses muon cosmic rays rather than X-rays or radio waves. Hmm. I mean, oh, I'm sure you've heard about this. This is a little bit older, but like, right? Uh, the, they've used this technique to find the you know that giant void in the pyramid or whatever. Um, but I just find it interesting that they can like use cosmic. Uh, particles and shit to, you know, like, see through shit. I mean, eventually, the, the you know, the secrets will be revealed on everything. Like, uh, one of the kings that had been mummified, they later found out that they fucked up while they were mummifying him because they put resin on him, you know, strips that are soaked with resin for the actual, you know, mummification process, and they dripped the, you know, resin... And one of the somebody at some point had said, "Oh, let me put a little bowl under him to keep it from getting all over the table." Well, they went back and his and you know the bowl was stuck to his head with the resin, and they couldn't get it off. So they said, uh, "Let's just wrap him up. You will be able to fucking see it." And then they stuffed him <laughs> in there, and for several thousand years, nobody knew until there was an X-ray. And you know, it'll be interesting yeah. to see what's underneath all that crap because people always say, "Oh, there's got to be hidden tombs and." You know, all kinds of shit. Like, grave robbers back in the day were very prevalent. They said usually the people that, you know, buried them went right back and, you know, dug out all the good stuff so no one actually would have got anything. But, uh... I don't know. As, as scientific as I am, I wouldn't mess with that shit. Just for all the cases you hear about, just people straight up dying just, like, days later, you know? Yeah, the curse. They're perfectly half healthy. Yeah, and, and Tom Cruise had that ghost following him around. You saw that commercial... Because no one actually saw that fucking movie. Because you know it looks stupid. <laughs> I just I believe, you know I like I try to follow karma and stuff. I guess. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, Oh, excuse me. Patreon backs down. Says it's not going to jack up costs. Oh yeah, Ben showed me this article. Well, not this exact one, but. Where last week when Patreon announced that it was going to charge processing fees on top of donations and then backed up that move with the obviously bogus claim that they had to do this so they could collect each donation separately? They changed their minds. In response to public protest, Patreon announced on its blog, We heard you loud and clear. We're not going to roll out the changes to our payment system that we announced last week. We still have to fix the problems that those changes addressed, but we're going to fix them in a different way. <laughs> we're going to work with you to come up with the specifics as we should have done the first time around. Many of uh, you lost patrons and you lost income. No apology will make up for that, but nevertheless, I'm sorry. It is our core belief that you should own the relationships with your fans. These are your businesses and they are your fans. For those who missed the story, last week Patreon announced they were going to move the fees they collected uh, on each donation. They were going to stop collecting the fees after a donation and instead uh, tack them on top of a donation when collecting it. That means your most common donation, the $1 pledge, would now cost the supporter $1.39. The second most common pledge, $2, will cost the supporter $2.41. Yeah, they thought that no one was going to give a fuck. <laughs> Remember when they decided that they were going to raise the price of Netflix and the internet shit itself? Yeah. Well, we talked about this last week about them trying to do that shit, you know. It's like, okay, you know, uh, we we can't, uh, we got to charge you a fee for it. No, there's a reason that people pay for it because it's a fucking dollar. Yeah. And, you know, like, I know a lot of people are naive, but, like, the company is this big, like, they're, they're apologizing and trying to kiss ass and stuff now, like, it was, like, some kind of mistake. But the company is this big, they don't make mistakes. They they uh, just couldn't get away with it. Right, you know? that's that's what the whole debt neutrality thing is. They go ahead and they say, well, we'll just implement a change. Like, you, like majority of people, you saw Office Space, right? 
Mm-hmm. And they're like, oh, we had a guy that, you know, was had technically was supposed to be fired several years ago and has been collecting a paycheck every week. So it was a bug in the system. Well, did you tell him that he was fired? We fixed the bug in the system. Did, did you tell <laughs> him he was fixed fired? The bug. Yeah, that's that's exactly what it is. They just don't give a fuck because they figure, you know, you're going to put up with it. I mean, if you don't do Patreon, you I don't think there's anybody out there at the moment doing what they do. Right. But, you know, it's a market that's c- cornered. They got, you know, the upper leg on everything. It's just. Yeah, they're not, they're not stupid. <clears throat> they, like companies don't really, they know what they're doing, you know? Yeah. They're, you know, they're, they're a very big industry. Everybody who has a YouTube, everybody who has a, a small business does that too, to make money. Hey, Doug. No, that's Doug's chair. Hi, right, Doug's chair. Well, at least it can't fall out of itself. Yeah. Hey, it's hey. Doug's chair. <sighs> What's up, bitches? Como esta, bitches? I forgot I invited you. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's work, all we got time for. <laughs> work, work, work. Work, 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 all day long. Work, work, work. Well, I sing this song. Gonna mop that floor. Gonna make it shine. Gonna take off the spray paint with turpentine. Adam yeah. Sandler. The, I high, the beginning Adam of a high school yesterday. Huh? I tweeted the Adam Sandler yesterday. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What'd you say? Give us airheads, too. <laughs> So, uh, did you see this article, Doug? Yes. <clears throat> Thoughts? Good. Um, unfortunately, it kind of seems... Give me a sec here. Unfortunately, it kind of seems that they still don't get it, because I heard that statement, and it's still like a little... We're going to do something down the line, guys, but uh, we'll, we're going to back down for now. Well, that, and Ian was saying at best, he's like... The company this big, they don't make mistakes. They just couldn't get away with this is all it was. Yeah. They're like, well, we're going to do something. We're going to talk to you guys, but you're not going to talk to us. Yeah. Oh, we're sorry. We didn't mean this. We didn't mean to take more of your money that you didn't want to give us. We'll try some other way to take your money that you didn't want to give us. They want money. <laughs> they want your money. They want your money. Yeah, because that's money they don't money. have yet. So, but by the way, uh, before we go uh, on to your articles, uh, yes, can we get it? Uh, should we talk about any anything on the previous articles? Like... I was gonna pull up this one just to see. Do you see the surgeon pleads guilty to burning initials into patients' organs? Well, he had to get jumped into the gang somehow. He was he was signing his his initials onto livers and shit. Yeah, what was it like? SC was here. SB, and then like SB was here. Well, he's just putting SB, and they said one of the one of the patients had a follow up surgery, and the surgeon said, "What the fuck?" <laughs> and noticed it. Essentially, huh. surgeons tag, but they, of course they can't use spray paint. So, I mean, surgeons who used to be guys who used to, you know. Uh, ride skateboards had to figure out some way to tag and they found a gang and that's how you get jumped into the gang on a slightly related article tell me about the by the way speaking of tagging a jury uh, backs graffiti artist who sued over destroyed work (laughs) well see they actually have grounds see in New York a uh, guy had a building that was going to be demolished anyway at some point, so he let people paint on it, and then the, they eventually covered over it, and they demolished the building, and they sued under uh, the Visual uh, Artist Rights Act of 1990 that allows them to sue for the destruction of their uh, work even though the uh, someone else physically owns it. I would love to be able to respond to this article. Uh huh. 
However, uh, due to the monetary constraints, I will need you to pay me $5 per opinion from here on out since I'm no longer uh, regulated. Oh, speaking yeah. about that. <laughs> speaking of regulations, um, mm-hmm. did you happen to hear this, by the way? The, the, the net neutrality. Oh, the whiskey? No, no, no. The, the fucking net neutrality. Go back up to the whiskey. Whiskey? Yeah. Doers? Doers. This whiskey is double-aged for extra smoothness. Hmm. They know about that. This is not a paid advertisement. So. <clears throat> oh, every every website that Ian links me to now, a thing pops up and it's a fucking video <laughs> and shit. <laughs> and you know what? A G the Pies just sitting us off going, yeah, that's me. Thanks. You can, you can, yeah, you're look welcome. Look at that snug smile where he's like, hey. yeah, I fucked you. Yeah, See? yeah. That's my finger See? in your ass. See now, this is where Airheads come in, comes into play. Like you know, where Steve Buscemi walks out of the of the radio station, and he's all like, <laughs> "Can you show that on air?" There you go. All, all he needs to do is burn into uh, his initials into somebody's uh, organ and be like, "You just got burned." <laughs> okay, so. Thoughts? It's really funny about, about the, I'll, 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 I'll mention this and then I'll, I'll shut up for a sec. Um, I don't buy that. I said oh. for a sec. Um, <laughs> a Doug second or a people second? It's Doug second. Oh. But uh, the, the, I think it was Crypt TV or like, you know, Graveyard Shift on their Facebook page was like, write a horror story in two sentences. So I commented, net neutrality repealed, Netflix buffers. Or net neutrality repealed, slow porn. Did you see? Hold on, I gotta find this. <laughs> He's like, oh, huh, I gotta find this. Huh? Oh, huh. I, I, uh, I uh, saw. An, I didn't think to. Um. um. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh. Ooh, uh. Bubba, Baba Booey. Baba How is Turkey's penis? <laughs> no, I saw this article that I thought it was funny, but I didn't. Um, you didn't, huh? Okay. I didn't. I didn't email it to myself because it wasn't a really long article that we could discuss. But um, did you see? Hey, at uh, least I didn't do any tech dirt. At, uh, oh Jesus! This week. Frank. Oh, here's the article. <laughs> Let me go ahead and bring this into the fold here. Oh, shit. Okay. One embarrassing photo. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that wasn't my article. Oh, no, yeah. I'm yelling at the ad, not you. The fucking music was playing, too. One embarrassing photo shuts down Ted Cruz's argument against net neutrality. That didn't go so well for the Texas senator. Ted Cruz on Thursday tried to mock supporters of net neutrality. The rule repealed by the SEC that had uh, required internet service providers to treat all traffic equally. It didn't go well. Critics warned the repeal could lead to ISPs charging extra for access to certain websites or even block them completely. Cruz had an imaginary argument in which the concerns of a snowflake are shut down by an, an informed observer such as himself. Snowflake, believing online propaganda, OMG, without net neutrality, the internet is gone, informed observer. You know, the FCC issued the rule in 2015. The internet grew up wonderfully free from government regulation, and all this restores the status quo. Snowflake, uh, never mind. Journalist and historian, I can't pronounce his first name, I apologize, Eon Higgins. Oh. Fire back with a tweet. They use just 10 words and a photo illustrating the kinds of traffic that could be slowed or stopped by the ISPs. Replying, Ted, let me put the issue of uh, as, as succinctly as possible. <clears throat> the photo is a scene from the porn star Corey Chase in the hardcore flick Mom's Bang Teens 20, which infamously earned a like from Ted Cruz's Twitter account earlier this year. Cruz insisted the like was caused by a staffer with access to his account. It was an honest mistake. It wasn't malicious. It wasn't deliberate. Cruz told CNN's 
uh, Dana Bush, it was a screw up. So yeah, he's like, no, no, here it is, Ted, and it's the porn, but it's the, got a buffering wheel in the middle of it. Well, the one thing also, uh, someone tweeted back at him was, uh, by the way, uh, your entire situation where you your campaign contributions are made public, uh, I think it was Comcast donated thirty six thousand dollars to him. So there you go. Imagine that, just like a Jeep Pie was in Verizon for a long time, but that has nothing to do with what he does now. No, 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 no. Fucking lying piece okay. of shit. Okay. But, Come on, uh, guys, shouldn't, shouldn't we be charged more to operate our microwave? Yeah. No. By the way, check this I mean, out, guys. Should have different rates for all of our appliances, too. That's right. No. Oh, you want that cold water? That's extra. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to throttle your speeds. You can only pour it out. Drop, drop, drop. <laughs> Guy invented a fake coffee shop to scam games, developer says. I saw this article and I, I had to share. It's not uncommon to hear stories from game developers and critics of people posing as YouTubers, reviewers, or other outlets to get free game keys from Steam developers. This one, however, takes the cake with a side of coffee. Jacob... Uh, Jenica, developer of a surreal adventure game Paradigm, claims in a lengthy imager post that someone posed as the owner of a fictional game-loving coffee shop, seemingly for the sole purpose of squeezing a few spare game keys out of the developers. They went all out, apparently saying in an email to them that their shop allowed people to answer video game trivia for coffee discounts and games. Thus, they needed some keys. However, he was suspicious. Why, he asked, is everything in English when your business is based in Ukraine? He did some sleuthing and discovered that the address this coffee shop owner gave him led to a plot of dirt in the middle of nowhere. And while a coffee shop called Board Drink does exist in a different part of Ukraine, it's in no way video game themed. The above photos of employees and the shop, as it turns out, are from the real Board <laughs> Drink social media page. Generica says that that the supposed scammer has since deleted their Twitter account and has not replied to the follow-ups. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> that's a ooh, that's a hardcore fraud. There, uh, let's see. I'll go to Google and I'll look up this Ukraine here. And <laughs> Rusev Machka. It very nice, <laughs> but uh. So that's gaming related. So this also is a similar story. Steam purged a Pepe emoticons after creator files copyright claim. Oh, I think I heard about something about this. If for some godforsaken reason you've been trying to collect every achievement and emoticon feature in Pepe the awful meme frog on Steam, I've got some bad news for you. Many of them are gone. Yesterday, Steam users began to notice something odd. According to a thread on the Steam subreddit, Pepe emoticons began disappearing from inventories and profile uh, showcase boxes. <clears throat> the listings were still there, but the imagery was invisible. Before long, icons stopped showing up in chats and posts as well. Now Pepe images that players uh, could earn by playing games like uh, Fergus the Fly and tellingly Make America Great Again, the Trump presidency have been replaced with a simple message, emoticon are currently unavailable due to DMC takedown notice submitted by uh, sum on behalf of Matt Furry. Pepe the Frog was originally a goofy character in Furry's comic Boys Club, but then became a 4 chan meme in 2008 that was ultimately co-opted by the alt-right in 2015. Fun fact, white nationalist Richard Spencer was explaining Pepe to a reporter right before he became famous for getting punched in the face. Furry has been... Uh, 2014 attempted to reclaim Pepe from Nazis and other awful people through a number of methods ranging from copyright claims against bigoted children's books to a new crowdfunded comic of his own. So, yeah. Yeah, he's uh, taking the shit off of uh, off I, of uh, Steam. Wasn't this the thing where they were saying too like that the shit wasn't going to be refunded to or something? Uh, that I don't know. I don't well, know. Because if you if you bought didn't like if you bought things with that 
where that revolved around mainly that or whatever. Well, these are like achievements and stuff, uh, and emoticons. But uh, by the way, I really need to look into this. I just realized this. Google finally lets you auto mute videos in Chrome. Here's how. I've only got one thing to say to that, and I'm I'm pretty sure approximately one percent of your viewership is going to get this joke. Fuck the revival. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, anyway, th that's in there. I'm gonna have to read this and. Uh... Do that. Um, Google. Blah, 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 blah. There you go. Right. You're not going to read, Frank. Shut up. <laughs> Google Chrome extension warns you about Star Wars spoilers. Oh. <laughs> Are you apparently. Same Google extension steals your credit card information and then makes purchases in Bangor, Maine. Well, wait a minute there. They're gonna. They're warning you. There's gonna be a spoiler. Or are they spoiling it for you? Well, I don't want to spoil this for you. I'm gonna read the article again. Are you perilously trying to avoid spoilers before you get a chance to see Star Wars: The Last Jedi? If so, there's an app so strong for with the Force that it's perfect for you. A Google Chrome extension called Force Block will warn you about pages that may contain potential spoilers. The warnings are displayed as slogans that reference the Star Wars films, such as "Freeze, you rebel scum!" "Possible spoilers ahead!" and don't give in to spoilers, at least to the dark side. See, it's Obi-Wan has taught you well. You have controlled your webpage. Now release your anger. Force block is on. Add this to whitelist. So, uh, yeah. No one really gives a fuck about that shit. Right. Oh, you don't like Star Wars, man? I come from a Star Trek family. I I can like uh, both. I find okay. Star Wars boring. Right. Okay. So, Google's AI found an overlooked exoplanet, and now our solar system is tied for biggest. Anybody hear about that one? No. Okay. NASA enlists some machine learning to help boost the search for other worlds. And I'm not going to read anymore because you fuckers don't think I know how to read. I, nobody said that. The final you, Nobody yet. said that. You fucking said it. Well, I said you're not going to read because you. Because I don't know how. Easy to read. No, because you're too lazy to read. Ooh. By the way, for eight days, Windows bundled a password manager with a critical flaw. Windows oh my goodness. Oh my goodness! Wait, wait. I have. I, I'm sorry, Frank. I have to actually uh, take this moment to freak out. What has everybody else freaked out over the same password flaw in the uh, in Mac OS? <clears throat> Give me one second here. Oh my gosh! Is this the end of uh, Microsoft PCs? Oh my goodness! It's so horrible. You might actually be able to get to somebody else's computer. Okay, I'm done now. Right. So yeah, Windows 10 version of Keeper had bug flaw sites to allowing sites to steal passwords. For about eight days, some version of Windows 10's quietly bundled a password manager that contained a, a critical vulnerability in its browser plugin, a researcher said Friday. The flaw was almost identical to one of the same researchers disclosed to the same manager plugin in 16 months ago that allowed websites to steal passwords. So yeah... It's not that this happened and it's fixed and yada yada. No, it's that this happened. So, just point that out. Microsoft. Copy By the way, I, Doug, the ISPs won't promise to, to treat all traffic equally after net neutrality. Wow. Duh. I'm, I'm sure you had no idea. No, when shit went missing from their website. Before, when they were like, we're not going to do this or this. Oh, we didn't, we didn't say we were going to do this. It's not on our website. 
But, uh... Net neutrality is dead. It's time to fear Mickey Mouse. Do, do you know why they fear Mickey Mouse, Doug? I'll wait for it. It's because they took control of 20th Century Fox, see? So it's not just about net neutrality here. There are some obvious conflicts that have already resulted from the Disney merger. Disney has a controlling stake in Hulu. Hulu was jointly owned by Disney, 30%, Fox, 30%, Comcast, 30%, and Time Warner, 10%, to compete with YouTube. Now Disney owns more than both uh, Comcast and Time Warner combined. Comcast owns NBC Universal, which broadcasts shows on Hulu. <clears throat> Time Warner is about to be owned by AT&T, which is a competitor of Comcast. Time Warner is a competitor of uh, NBC and Disney. Comcast and AT&T control the network that people use to watch content from Disney, Time Warner, and NBC. And this is a fun place to point out that disclosure Comcast NBCU division is a minority investor in Vox Media, which owns The Verge, this website. But, Frank, do you know what the good news of this merger is? Uh, da -da 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 -da. Yeah! <clears throat> Schnicky, schnicky. Schnicky, dear. Yeah, so that's all I got. They've actually Don't announced you... that uh, the uh, Deadpool movies will stay R-rated, which spells yeah. good news for both Deadpool 2, uh, the New Mutants, and also the upcoming X-Force movie. So. I had heard a rumor yeah. that, uh, that um, Hugh Jackman might be coming back. The, he, yeah, the first the next that, Avengers. That I, I'm not sure if that is 100 percent true, but it would be phenomenal if it was. I I would love to see Deadpool and uh, Logan together. That would be interesting. An R-rated Logan well, there. Yeah. Well, the thing though is, is like with the Avengers though, isn't like. Uh, um, isn't a lot of them going to be retiring from that shit? Like, uh, what? Uh, I'm having uh, a brain fart. Iron Man. Uh, 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 Baba Booey. Baba Booey, Baba Booey. Howard Stern's penis. Baba Booey. I don't understand, Ian. No, who does Iron Man? Who plays Iron Man? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Uh, Robert Downey Jr. Yeah, thank you, Robert Downey Jr. He pretty much straight up said that he was gonna he was done after these Infinity War movies. I wouldn't go that far. He says that he's gonna play it by ear and see how the how it all goes. Essentially. Oh. I wasn't going to do it, but then Disney said, we'll pay you. And I said, well, fuck. <laughs> I like money. I like <laughs> Disney money. I do. <laughs> Let me tell you what right about... now. I think Disney is an evil corporation and all that. But if they p wanted to pay me, I'll take their fucking money. What about that guy that is doing uh, Captain America? He was he, he wanted out, too, I thought. Uh, Chris Evans has stated that it'd be cool to actually have a, a movie with the Human Torch, too. So, this this literally changes everything. This makes uh, dream pairings possible. Yeah. You know, so, this right here, this changes the entire scope of how X-Men is treated, how the Fantastic Four is treated, but by the way, Fox, fuck you. Um, <laughs> what's that about, Doug? I, I'm, I'm confused here. Okay, the Fantastic Four, the most recent one, mm -hmm. literally. Did you see that? Teabag and shit over everything <laughs> that made the Fantastic Four great. Did you know that in this new movie, which immediately went to the bargain bin upon its release on DVD and Blu-ray, how do I know? Because it used to work at Walmart, trust me. This, did you know that Doctor Doom you know in the most bin. recent movie was from outer fucking space? Yeah. 
fucking. Well, I, I uh, saw the movie. It, pre- it was pretty bad. But... <laughs> Sue and Johnny weren't even fucking brother and sister. It, it, it just. Hold on. I have. I have to. I have to. I have to read from the Swoley Bible to curb my anger. The Swoley Bible, Frank. The Swoley Bible. <laughs> And of course, I turn straight to go to war, claim your territory. Fuck you, Fox. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right, so... Are you Chinese or Japanese? You don't remember that episode of King of the Hill? I haven't watched King of the Hill in so long. It's, it's not on anymore. Man. Damn it, Bobby. Most of the close oh. I've been watching of that is liquid television. Oh, because we talked about it on the last show. Have you been watching it online? Yeah. Yeah, he was hyped about that shit. You damn right I was. Like it's, it's not the best quality, I'll be honest. But you know what? It's full episodes. And and I can take you no know, 480p and below if it's an episode I can actually watch and enjoy. So They'll go watch not four eighty but forty eight p. It's watchable. I'll take it. Fuck it. <laughs> He'll take that. Is that right? <laughs> He'll take it. Anyways, Frank, let's. Go- uh, what's your next article here? That was it. Oh, okay. Well, it's it's up to you, uh, Frank, if you want to hang on here. But Doug, I I said I was coming after you, and I'm I'm I mean it. I'm rolling up the sleeves, Doug. I'm coming Great after you. Dude. Come on, coming after you. You, I'm I'm. Show me one of your belts there. I'm coming after one of those. I'm sorry, what? Were you talking? I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a matter you uh you're not it you're too scared to uh forfeit one of those. Come on, let's rock and roll, bitch boy. Alright. Frank, what are you doing? Yawning. You're yawning. Yeah, I'm tired. I'm running out of energy drink. <laughs> running out of energy drink. That's not the Swoley Bible. Swoley Bible. In this situation, this is me. (laughs) Okay. So what were we doing now, guys? Trying to set it up. I I didn't... I didn't know that uh, Doug was going to be here. But, uh... This is me and you in trivia. This is me, and that's you. (laughs) On the daily. All right, then. All right, then. Uh, Rivia. You better bring everything you got if you hope to beat me, son.
Yeah, trivia of the end. Yeah. Yeah, this is trivia of the end where he's gonna get his ass handed to him on a royal silver platter. Okay. To access trivia with Ian, please pay five dollars. Oh, you have to upgrade your package. Your bandwidth is all over. Dang old hills, ain't dang man. I ain't no god dang some bitch. <sighs> Damn it, Bobby. Damn it. I told you once, I told you a thousand times. Hands above the covers. Uh. Are we are we ready? Yeah, I'm trying to find my cursor. Like all this madness. There we go. Madness. My, my, my madness. Okay, would you rather drool abnormally in public? Or audibly moan during each conversation you have. Uh, drool. Drool. Because then you'd only bother the one person you're talking to versus if you moan, the entire place looks at you. Hey, what is this dipshit? <sighs> yeah, it's, I'd say drool. That's not a big deal. Oh. Yeah, people are stupid. Going to 10, by the way. Would you rather own a pocket sized giraffe or own a pocket sized elephant? Uh, elephant? Elephant. Is that an elephant in your pocket or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> I'm gonna go across the grid. Against the grain, I'm going to do giraffe. Oh, you guys got it. That's right. That's right. You damn right. That's right. I'm still doing it. Would you rather be in the Fallout universe or be in the Skyrim universe? Yeah, that's fucking easy. Skyrim. Ooh. Hmm. Well, Well, we know what Frank wants, but... Why? I have both. (laughs) I got both, damn it. Do you play both? I have played both, yes. Do you play both? I have more time in Fallout. Just think if you're in Skyrim, it gets re-released every two years, so you'll never have to have a bad game. (laughs) Oh, you. Well, the thing with Fallout is there's been more than, like, one, so... Yeah, plus lots of DLC, man. So I'm going to assume more people like Fallout because there's multiple iterations versus... Yes, there are different... (laughs) Excuse me. There are different Elder Scrolls games, but there's only been one Skyrim other than the Enhanced Edition, so... I'm going to go with Frank on this one. Damn it, Frank. <laughs> Damn it, Bobby. I was hoping to get up, one up on Doug here. You're not helping. Me? Helpful? Have you been paying attention? Would you rather... No. Would you rather death by freezing in Antarctica or death by walking through Sahara? Hmm. hmm. I would say Sahara. Yeah. Sahara. Antarctica. Okay. Oh, you got it. I have not done anything yet. (laughs) Would you rather have to smile every waking hour or have to laugh loudly every 30 minutes? 30 minutes. So, laugh. But then you gotta wake up to do this shit. That's true. But I don't think smile every waking hour, that doesn't mean you smile once an hour. To me, that sounds like you smile all the fucking time. 
Yeah, I'm cool with that. I'll smile every waking hour. <laughs> Yeah, my face would hurt after a while. How about you, Ian? You're gonna have to go with Doug. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Probably the 30 minutes uh, was the thing because people would rather just do shit while they're awake. Right. Would you rather be disemboweled by a Japanese uh, sushi chef and served on a platter to Justin Bieber or run through a, oh. a pride of starving lions wearing Lady Gaga's meat dress? Uh, meat dress. Meat dress. Meat dress because uh, there might be a chance to escape. Meaty dress. Yes, six, seven. Finally on the board. Yeah, I got. <laughs> Would you rather have a baby dragon or have a baby phoenix? Well, I, I would my... rather have a phoenix, but I know everybody's going to say dragon. Yeah, everyone's so. going to say dragon. It's like Game of Thrones. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Dragon. Yeah, but not as much as you would uh, think. Now, how is that only so... Look, it's 212,000 or 156,000. Hmm. Good chunk. Hey, we, we don't get paid to do math here. Yeah. Would you rather be an only child and be abused or live with a family of 10 siblings that hated you? Uh, hated uh you? yeah, I hated you because fuck them. I can go, I can grow and buy my own shit. What, what's it say? You cannot call the cops if you choose uh, blue and can, uh, not uh, convince any of the siblings like you uh, to choose the red. Well, that's fine. They can hate me. I'll after I turn eighteen, I'm out, bitch. No, damn straight. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> parents right. can hurt you. <laughs> yeah, sixty-three percent. That's oh. Me and another seven-year-old, we'll go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, bitch. He's, you know, he's going down. That parent, I don't, I don't stand a fucking chance, son. Damn right. My question is, why isn't that percentage higher? Because people are dumb. <laughs> Would you rather get B's and C's at an Ivy League school or get A's That's at... Frank saying that. Or get A's at a standard university? A's? Hmm. Uh, well, if you get a B... Bees I'd rather get a B at a league. Yeah, I'd rather get a B at an Ivy League. Because then it's I mean, it, be... they don't see your the first thing they don't see your grade point average. They go, "Oh, you graduated from this fucking Ivy League school because you can graduate yeah. B's and C's." Uh, I'll I'll go with the A's though. <clears throat> I know tons of people have like done A's and made like four point and stuff. I you hear about it in high school or whatever, you know. I mean, it's not that hard. Is a lot of people are lazy. Like Frank. I'm not lazy, I'm sleepy. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, B's and C's. Well, people, <laughs> oh, people Doug got it. Yeah. You got you got a sad sound effect? Because that's <laughs> that's dumb. Yeah, yeah. Oh well here here's a thought though. Would you rather like maybe it should have been point it a different way. Think of it like this. Would you rather basically skid by and graduate in the middle of the pack or would you rather be magna cum laude fucking valedictorian? Okay, but no okay, but Doug, here's here's the point though. This is this is a point that was brought up to me by a college professor at the little tech school I went to. You can either be a big fish in a big pond or a little fish in a little pond. Doesn't matter. I'd rather be, you know, a big fish in a big pond because your chances of growth are a lot higher. I mean, if you if you graduate from Harvard with a B at B C average, that's better you're than you're graduating. actually not considered a big fish though. You're actually considered a small fish because you're not top dog. Well, okay, not, I phrased it wrong. A little fish in a big pond because you're not the top dog. You're top dog, but you're at a small college. Big fucking deal. Well, your uh, standard university could be something like Ohio State or you know Texas. 
University of Texas, a standard university is a standard university. If you're top of your class at Ohio State University, ain't nobody gonna fuck with you. Oh, okay, but if I'm if I'm a BC class at Harvard, right? That's is that an Ivy League school? Yeah. So so it's either B or C at Harvard or A's at DeVry. I mean, and that's not a standard university. <laughs> Trust me, that is not a standard university. Okay, well, I would still rather take the Ivy League school because you still graduate even if you don't have A's. If you do decent, it they would like it, you know how hard it is to get into like an Ivy League school. I mean, yeah, but you also got to think of the big picture. You know, What's if you picture? graduate with honors and a, a lot of you know accoutrements at a standard university that still holds a lot more weight than just graduating with no honors no accoutrements what do you get um, you get season tickets every year at osu games what, what else you got doug well I'm, I'm not talking about it i'm talking about you know headhunters will look at people who graduate from college at top of the uh, top of their class people who graduate top of their class generally will make more money than people who graduate at the middle of their class people okay. who graduate with honors will yes. obviously it's all have a though, leg up on different things you, you see what i mean no I mean, but you're not as that not apples to apples though doug you're yes you're exactly. the top of the class no doug, you're that's, a, that's exactly what i'm saying you have an apple you can't do an apples to apples comparison from a standard university to an ivy league because of the your position in those in those uh in those universities you go top dog at a regular college mid-tier at a top college you yeah, see what that, i mean yeah but no i'd still rather be the uh, higher league school <laughs> i'm sorry it's, but the see, numbers speak otherwise well that's because yeah. that's because these people went to the standard university and they <laughs> say well i'm gonna go for my alma mater god damn it <laughs> well like uh franks you don't think do you, so you're saying like uh, employers aren't going to care about like if you had like perfect attendance and s stuff like that. It, but employers you know, like, are going to look at the resume and, and go, "Well, goddamn, this dude graduated from Harvard." Uh, okay. Yeah, you but got this guy had perfect attendance. Okay, du okay, hold on. okay, Doug. Let's, 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 before we even okay, you go to the job interview. Okay, guy graduated. I'm being uh, sarcastic, by the way. No, but guy graduated Standard University. So what's a Standard University? Just throw one out there. Ohio State. Okay, guy graduated with. With, from Ohio State, guy graduated from Princeton or Harvard, Yale, any of that shit. They interviewed the same fucking job. Who do you think, honestly, honestly, who do you think is going to get that job? Standard University. Well, you're full of fucking shit. I don't care if it's Am flipping I? burgers or fucking Am running I? the FCC. <laughs> but again, yeah, you also have to think about it. Someone who graduates with honors and someone who graduates they don't with even, a They're lot. not going to look that far. They yeah. don't give a flying fuck. It, but There's, it doesn't no. matter. You're still going to put that on your resume. They're not going to look at that shit. They're going to go still, look at... You are still, they're, gonna, they're going to look at your qualifications. They're going to look at your college. You weren't qualified for the Ivy League school, so you're not qualified for them. That's the way they're going to look at it. And some people will look at that and say you're overqualified. Yeah, but they're not going to not hire you. I don't. I really doubt that. Again, you have to sit and think about it, too, because some people who go to Ivy League schools are prissy little bitches and still act that way in the workplace. And then they become president. So, <clears throat> daddy bought their job, and then they ended up buying a country. Perform petty thievery for a living or perform grand larceny for a living? Ooh. Petty thievery might get you in jail, but... Grand larceny, they'll get you to federal pound in the ass prison, right? <laughs> yeah. Wrists don't. Uh, I, mm, th thievery. Thievery. Who knows if you'll get caught? People are dumb, though. They're gonna. They're not gonna vote for what I'm saying, but I'm saying th thievery. Thievery. So you're saying people will vote for the bigger? Uh, people are gonna want winnings. grand larceny, but I'm I'm voting for p p thievery. That's I'll, that's I'll, yeah. I'll say grand larceny. You're gonna say people are gonna take the risk. People are yeah. go. People want the excitement. They think go big or go home, but they're fucking stupid. They go, that's why there are so many people in prison because people are fucking stupid. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, yeah I'll, but every everything is like, what's that movie with Sean Connery? Which one? with the that uh, he was training that Heath, Heath with a. Uh, 
Maybe. Oh no, not the the Rock with Angelina Jolie. Entrapment. Oh, that's yeah, it. Entrapment. People go, oh, I just want to get. They want Ocean's Eleven, and that's not what they're fucking yeah. going to get. They're going to get goddamn pound band the ass prison. That's what they're going to get. Yeah, that's okay. Great I'm going to say. So you're saying uh, grand larceny? Yep. I'm saying thievery. I know it's going to be wrong, but I, I'm going with it. I'm I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with you, Frank, because I got to get something opposite of Doug here. <laughs> Don't get me wrong; people are stupid. Yeah. God damn it, Frank! <laughs> I told you. Uh, you're, what are you doing, looking at my shit? Don't look at my paper. I told you I was wrong. I can't honestly say which would I rather do. I, I knowing full well what people will pick. Would you rather jump off a two-story roof or, or take a sandwich tackle? From three rugby players. I want to jump <laughs> off our two story roof right now. <laughs> What's a sandwich tackle? Three guys basically running up on you at the same time. Well, how's that a sandwich? Three it's guys. Something like something Frank was watching the other night. Yeah, but if there's three guys and me, then that's four. That's not a sandwich. <sighs> I'm American. We don't play rugby. No, we play rugby badly. That's that's just what that is. Uh, people are gonna say jump off a roof because people are stupid. Yeah. You're like, oh well, I'll yeah, just go man. ahead and put something below that way I can fall on it and break my fall. <laughs> I mean, I've seen people jump off a fucking roof before, and it doesn't take much. I knew a guy who got fucking high off of just a couple hits off a joint. Said, "Dude, I'm gonna jump off the roof." I'm like. Are you retarded? Okay, uh, yeah. so uh, you two are going with Ruth. Yep. It's on fire. We don't need a mo- water. Let the motherfucker burn. Hey, I'm going to go with that, too. Burn, motherfucker. Burn. Wow. And of course, whatever I go with is just, like, wrong. <laughs> yeah. You just can't win for trying. Mm. Ah. <sighs> Okay, rig up the exam paper or walk out laughing. Rip up the exam paper or walk out laughing. But you gotta read, if you knew you were going to oh, pass so test, good. would you rather? Oh. Uh. Hmm. This is kind of dumb. Yeah, walk out laughing. I would probably do both, actually. Um. But, uh, yeah, walk out laughing. I don't know. I don't know what the most people would pick. I would just walk out laughing because I'm crazy. Yeah, I feel like rip up the exam paper. Like that. There's nothing cool about doing that, you know? You rip it up. What are you going to do? Go, yeah, look at that. Because you can't yeah. laugh. You rip right. it up and go, ha, ha, I ain't going to win this shit. <laughs> it, it, no, just walk out fucking laughing. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, wow. Rip it up. Is that one more for me than I win? Yeah. I'm not even looking at the score. If you had one hour left to live, would you rather spend your last moments with your family or do something crazy that you've always been too scared to do? <coughs> family. See. Hmm. 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 Well, so this one is uh, another faith question in humanity here. You think everybody would just want to do be like super cool and just be like, oh yeah, I'm going to do something crazy? Or do you think they should do the right answer and be like, I, I want to spend it with the two people I care about? Driving. I went Rocky Mountain climbing. Um. They say live like you're dying, so, I mean, your last few moments. If you got an hour, why, why can't I, so I can't bungee jump and then hang out with my family? I gotta, I gotta or, do one of the. Can't you bungee jump with your family? Oh, they wouldn't do that shit. I don't want to <laughs> do that shit now. I don't... Mm. Or they can watch you. Hmm. I'm going to try to... I'm going to attempt... Sh- Go ahead. 
I'm going to attempt to have some faith because everybody is, most of the people you saw with the polls and stuff with that neutrality, most people weren't in favor of it. So at least people have some kind of sense in them. So I'm going to have some kind of faith. You, Baby. Your family. Dun, 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 family dun. is most important. Right. At least I think so. At least my family. <laughs> I'm going to say everyone should want to be with their family. And they figure, well, why should I wait till the last hour to do something crazy? I've always lived my life like I could die. So, so family. Duh. For the win. For the win. What do you? What are you saying, Doug? Family. Oh, okay. For the win. Ah. Uh. <laughs> The just, one time you got it. Just barely. And also happens to be the one that I use to crown my victory. And damn it, if I was going to at least win this one, I mean, I'm glad it was the majority, but couldn't have you guys have made it a little bit higher of a percentage? I mean. <laughs> damn, at least we if we were going to... If it was going to be a higher percentage, at least go big or, you know. Uh. And I got, I do got to give it up to Doug. I, I challenged him, but you know what, Doug? I I did I did challenge you, but I... I, I take I, it I'm, back. I, I'm pretty sick today, so, like, I'm not oh, thinking oh, I'm, oh. I'm not running on full steam here. Um, I should have... I should have not said anything until I was 100%. You know what happens when you try to go for glory? Just remember that when you when you when you when you go up that ladder and you reach for that brass ring, there's always going to be someone like me to show you where your place is in this world. Why? Because I'm the best. I'm the best. Well, oh, no, it's seen every week. You're you seen every week. You know specifically that I am the best out there, ladies and gentlemen. You're the best. Goodbye and good night. Bang. Because you know when your bullet club, your bullet club, foot, 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 for life. Frank. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? Did you have that up the whole time? I wasn't even paying yeah. attention. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just not realize that shit? <laughs> it's only been up for like 20 minutes, Ian. <laughs> the entire time we were playing the game, yeah. Yeah. No wonder. He was probably giving me bad luck with that shit. <laughs> Throwing me off my game. Besides me be, being sick. Oh, oh. He's doing me when I recoup, man. when I recuperate, Doug, you'll still. Lose. I am gonna. No, <laughs> I I am gonna come at you full barrel, double barrels. Well, I was gonna say full barrel. <laughs> Not one barrel, damn it! He's coming with both barrels. No, he's just breathing hard. <laughs> I'm get, I gotta recuperate and I'm I'm gonna come full back bore at you, you know? I mean <laughs> Come full bore at? Yeah. Nice. Very nice. nice. <laughs> this is a. Uh, uh You won the battle, Doug. That's what you got shit. here tonight. Oh my goodness! I gave you a mercy. I gave oh. you charity. That's what I gave you. That's what I could say. <laughs> right there, baby. Right there. <laughs>
That's the next belt I'm going to get. <laughs> that is the next belt I will own. Believe that. <laughs> believe that that would be me with all the victims behind me just basking in my glory as trivia champion who's that dude that guy right there that's the game triple h uh oh i didn't recognize him the cerebral assassin hair, the king of kings that. Why'd he shave his hair off? Actually, just uh, decided he didn't want to mess with the hair no more. Hmm. <laughs> I, I, I would imagine it gets in your way when you're wrestling. It's actually good for effect. Well, yeah. I mean, it looks good, but... Yeah. Well, no, Doug, I... I didn't come at you with everything. I, I sh shouldn't have came at you at all. But I messed up. I slipped. And next time I'm going to do it the right way. Well, let's do yourself a favor first. Look at Franklin's screen. <laughs> I was looking at that. <laughs> That's uh... Hey, Franklin. Mm. Ian says, very nice. Well, to make it better for you. <laughs> Is that better? Uh, oh. Uh, oh, God. Oh, that would be Ian in his spare time. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd like to thank everybody for coming on the show. And uh, if you would, yeah, they, if you would prefer to get all A's at a whatever school versus B's and C's, leave it in the comments. We'll we'll read both of them. It can't be that many. Or you could be like Doug and just cheat. Just remember, if you ain't cheating, you're not trying. Hey. <laughs> No, what you need to remember is eating ain't cheating. Hmm. Yeah, be sure to go ahead and remind me of that when your wife kicks you out. No, that was the name of an MC oh. Chris album. Oh. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, the next podcast, Franklin will be celebrating his divorce. <laughs> okay. No, Bye, everybody. She sees his pinstriping. She if she can survive that. <laughs> wow, the lone pinstriping <laughs> joke does not come from me this week. Yeah, <laughs> comes from Cartoon Brew over here. Ooh, <laughs> Cartoon Brew. He's got a three D printer. He's got a three D printer. He's got parts He's got of a three D printer. printer and absolutely no life. <laughs> How can you kill that which has no life? <laughs> <laughs> Simple. Simple. You work at movies. Hey, you guys. Well, guys. Hey, Ian. Hey, Doug. Do the hills still have eyes? I don't know. I don't know, Doug. And on that uh, awkward right. note, we should end the show. Yes. Play the music. Play the music. Play the music. Get that. Play the music. Jin, 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 jin.
Boobs. Pinstriping. Uh, scissor up. Boner, boner, boner. Boner, 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 boner. Boobs. <laughs>